everybody, we're back with some Ace of Turn style, as I am wont to call her. Joined, as always, by my squad of friends, Danbot, Dreameister, Barnabas. Hello. Hello. And oh, what did we do last time? What didn't we do? So we, we did talked everything. about clown meat. <laughs> we stared at that picture of clown. We just said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, meat clown, not clown meat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but do you know the thing about clown meat? Do you want to tell us? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, why, why would you never eat a clown? Because it tastes know. funny. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you should do stand up. You should. Thank you. That's from my dad, so my dad should should do stand up. Oh my god, iconic. Let's see who we got in chat. We got Dan Bomp. We got Jungle Wine. T Mac, who is in Ultra Lurk mode. Uh. Lonk Rules, Jog Vodka, Ooh, BBS Fan Dubs, Less Than Two Weeks, hell yeah. We got Dreameister, and we got Ribbonfly, and Kianzan. Welcome in, everyone. And Alpha. And, we... yeah, and Alpha, yeah. <laughs> Final bit last time, that's an impression. Uh, oh yeah. What, 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 what did we do? <laughs> I'm blinking so hard. Okay, uh, so yeah. Jake Marshall... We got his whole motivation, his entire story. Basically, he, his brother died. Uh, you know, that was kind of sad. Um, <laughs> had something, Emma had something to do with it. Joe Dark tried to kill her and all that jazz. Right. Fucking Jake's oh, brother we... stood up for her, you know. Oh, and... yeah, hot dead brother. <laughs> hot dead brother, correct. Dead brother. Oh, we looked at a picture of dead bodies for, like, straight up 15 minutes. <laughs> well, we just talked, <laughs> yes, we did. just talked about, like, the best big sister, best best friend, best second place yes, spaghetti yes. Spaghetti yep, that's Yes. Spaghetti-o. Yes. McDonald's uh, mascot. Mm. Yeah, we're oh, talking yes. about the Misco McDonald's mascot. <laughs> so um, true. Uh, it turns out Edgeworth did actually prevent f fake evidence. That actually happened. Uh, he didn't know about it, but it happened. What a fool. And yeah, what a foolish fool who's very foolish. Um, oh, yes. Uh, um, Gant has an organ in his office. That's pretty sick. And uh, we're going to go take a look at that organ. Yeah. A human organ? Which one? I, I, I don't know. Which one's your favorite? I like the liver myself. Um, spleen? I could liver with that. Are we, are we spleen is a good spleen? word. Um, Mine might just be the heart because I'm cliche. Iconic. No, I do have a, an anatomical heart tattooed on me, so it makes sense. Iconic? Well, I did it's not really know that. It's a good one, and it has, like, I'll show it to you all sometime. It's great. <laughs> Damn, Bob Lore. I wonder if Edgeworth is back yet. There he is. It looks like he's writing something. There he is. Huh. What are you doing here? He sure was quick to <laughs> throw that paper on the floor. I would the have floor? Liked, I would have liked if he just threw it outside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, right. <laughs> Ellie, he balls it up and just throws it behind his shoulder, doesn't even look because the whole window's open. <laughs> and and so, who, uh, who else does it fall on but Larry Butts? <laughs> oh my god! Like, why? What the hell is this? <laughs> no, then he opens it up, he sees whatever the fuck it is, thinks it's a secret code, goes ham. <laughs> That's why he's <laughs> gone! Oh my god, anyway. <laughs> he's on a mission. Tough day in court, huh? <laughs> I've had to live the past two years with rumors flying around. What's another allegation to me? Cheer up, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm rooting for you. That's Edgeworth for you. Do ba da ba do poop. <laughs> Always trying to You're hide his real feelings. His unnecessary. His unnecessary. unnecessary. The allegations, they'll be facts. The Steel Samurai yeah. fanfic? He writes Steel Samurai fic. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. A tangent. So. We we all know like fan fiction is kind of like I, I like fan fiction right as anyone who mm -hmm. likes the finer cuisines in life they like fan fiction I have read a lot of like AU's or whatever of Ace Attorney where it's like <laughs> Edgeworth and Maya are always just in the Steel Samurai fandom and it's just like the shenanigans there and there's a lot of fix on that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Esper actually recommended to me when I had COVID. I read this. It was so nice. Um, that <laughs> Edgeworth and Maya co-run a Steel Samurai Discord, but they don't know that the person yes. they run with is each other. They're just like internet friends, but they don't know each other's real <laughs> identities. So it's so It's good. like an in-canon, yeah, <laughs> fic. It's so... And it's like a text fic. Like, yes. so it's through the Discord server. Thank you, Esper. That was great. 
thank you for reading it. I, I always love sharing uh, the fun stuff I read. But yeah, a lot of those types of fics, because it's like different people doing their own spins, it's all, like, you almost never see Phoenix in there, because he's so technologically inept. <laughs> and I just that thought that's sense. so funny. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, this is me. So what do you want? Like some people, I don't have all day. Jeez, okay. Okay, well, jeez. I, I can go away if you want. Oh, shit, my pop filter. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false, false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's what it all breaks down to, and nothing I can do, nothing I do can erase that fact. But you didn't know, did you? I mean, the evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error. My responsibility is the prosecutor in charge. That fact remains the same, no matter what excuses I might have. Mr. Edgeworth. I take pride in my work. So tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a mistake. No, no, Tell me why. <laughs> I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. <laughs> that was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> why has it all come to this? I always confuse the lyrics of that song with My Way by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I just did it his way, fucker. <laughs> That's yeah, I, I thought... Yeah, I, I was like kind of ex like kind of remembering as, it as I did it my way. Oh, cause I did, did it, it my way. Chills, literal yeah, chills. That's not how it. Not how it, <laughs> it was number five. Number five. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot. Oh my god! I forgot about that part. <laughs> okay, good. We all know the bit. All right. Even Edward I know can't keep from, the exact. Kind I know of it's from a version of, of the video that has it, that has Crash Bandicoot characters. <laughs> like what? Oh, iconic. Out. Wait, wait, that actually sounds funny, what the fuck? I'll find it if you want. Yeah, can you link it in, the ch in like, our chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? <laughs> First last year's trial, and now this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. To be honest, <laughs> you're getting no. on my nerves. But, Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk out on the trial! Tomorrow is the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. I'll bet that's what my superiors are banking on. I never thought that that case would come back to haunt me like this. What do you mean? That list of evidence. It seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. Is that the ID card thing? No, that's I'm... an evidence list, right? Ooh. He just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's only half as long as most lists. That is odd. My quackers. Oh, after Neil, Mar Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for that case. I may not have been part of the investigation, but at the time, there was only one thing on my mind. I'd use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. Say, we just saw a picture taken around that time. A picture? Something seemed strange about it. Tell us about the day of the crime. Could you tell us again about what happened that day? That the day Detective Goodman was murdered? You were participating in a ceremony over the station, right? I've never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you were awarded this. <laughs> Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out on the ceremony. But it would be such a power move if he did. <laughs> I finished I mean, up sure, they can. Marlon Brando did that at the Oscars once, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he sure did, and had someone else come up in his place. Do you think Edgeworth yeah. has the clout of Marlon Brando? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> in this universe? Maybe. Maybe. Is Marlon... <laughs> is, is, is he canon in this universe? Is he canon? I don't know. Let's ask them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, who? Is Marlon Brando canon? In, in... in Ace Attorney. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me ring up uh, Shu Takumi, see what he's got to say. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if he's been referenced at some point. I finished up at the office in the morning, then drove over to the police department. You finished up at the office? Yes, just odds and ends, clerical stuff. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is, until I was asked to take something back. Take something back? 
this. Oh yeah! Chikana asked there, to hold on to that, didn't he? There is a reference from a line from a Marlon Brando character in one of the games. No, so, so like in, in, in this game? No, the third game. Oh, okay. What is it from? Is it the Godfather um, or something? Yes, it is a famous one. But I don't know if I should say it just, you know, to... Okay. Anyway. Uh, how did I not know this guy was in The Godfather? <laughs> he did... What, Marlon Brando? Is, is, he, is he the Godfather? Esper. Yes. <laughs> I don't know my actors. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, like, the way he looks in that movie is very different from, like, what he looked like when he originally became a movie star. So if you're familiar with his, like, earlier image, you might not realize that he's also, like, the Godfather. But isn't the Godfather the one that he won the Oscar for that he didn't show up for? I think so. Unless he won a second Oscar sometime. But, uh, which huh. maybe. Is she? Yes. Well, anyway, he definitely, did, he definitely did win an Oscar for that role, but I don't know if that was the if he won a, dip, a second one at some point. Oh, I feel that. He asked me to bring it back to the prosecutor's office. That's the story we heard yesterday. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to. That's right. Which is you. I'm right. I, I thank you. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad we're communicating on this. <laughs> Uh, I think it said to present him something, like a photo? Yeah, look at this photograph! Look at this photograph! The picture, this picture was hanging on the wall of, uh, Chief Gan. Oh, it's going well, Office. T-Mac. <laughs> hope your, hope your secret, super ultra secret project is going well. Whatever, whatever that is. Secret projects? Super secret Drink. ultra deluxe project. <laughs> A super duper high school <laughs> project. <laughs> okay, you, you thought Danganronpa, I thought Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Speaking of that, there is something that bothers me. Yes? The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding. It's a little different than yours. Yes, you're right. Well, your, your, your companion is right, but I remember now. <laughs> I don't even have to say anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> remember what? That was the official prosecutor trophy used up until that time. And there's a story behind it. A story. All about how that trophy <laughs> life got flipped, turned right upside down. <laughs> yes, I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. And you'll tell us about how you became the chief. Oh, fuck. Fuck! No! I fumbled! No! Ooh, how's it feel, oh. right? Uh, I, uh, oh, hold shit. on, chat, look away. I'm gonna reload with life save state. Oh. Uh. Okay, yeah. That's cheating. You know it. Oh my no. god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That specific Play the sense. game like Traveler's Tales intended in 1994. <laughs> Do you guys know if that one Robotnik at it win the race? Please tell me I'm not the only one who knows. What? <laughs> okay, look, just look up Win the Race. It's by, like, I Teach Vader or something. It's so good. <sighs> <laughs> and one, one, oh. of the, one of the lines, like, Tails is like, That dirty Eggman, he's cheating! Look! <laughs> and that, I just remind, it reminded me of that line. <laughs> I have, it, I'm not familiar. Oh, you gotta look it up. I'll, I'll look it up in a bit. <laughs> Contradiction. That's what the award's based on. Uh, can we talk now? <laughs> I love when we just have these tangents in the middle of a conversation. It's like, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Contradiction? Huh? <laughs> this award originates from an ancient Chinese tale. In Chinese, the word, word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard this story? Nope. Me? Oh, uh, sure. Everyone knows that. Why don't you tell it, though? For, for Emma's sake. Very well. <laughs> He's just not calling him out. <laughs> Why the fuck is the cross-examination music on? <laughs> Long ago, in the kingdom of Chu, there was an arms merchant. Wait, let me Google when there is. <laughs> <laughs> One day, he presented the king with two items. Oh. The first was a halberd he claimed could slice through any shield or armor. The second was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Hmm. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Objection! Wow, what the fuck? Those claims contradict each other! Yo! Very perceptive. But then again, yeah. <laughs> you've heard this story before, right? Totally, yep. Anyway. You fucking uncultured swine. <laughs> you uncultured swine, right? Anyway, as you mentioned, the very descriptions of these items discredit them both. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless. And thus, the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Forgot all I don't about suppose. This. I don't suppose anyone here knows Chinese and can confirm this. I mean, we could easily just look up like the the characters. Yeah. On it. But, <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sam Bob. Oh, I see. So the chip shield and broken knife symbolize. Precisely so. They yeah, symbolize... it's true. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. They symbolize the merchant's items. The ancient tale ends with the merchant at a loss for word at a loss for words. But it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion. Even if it results in something as ugly as this. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Edgeworth. I learned something new today. That's funny. If that's so, then why were you only given a shield? You'll have to ask Chief Gant. Gant? Gant. Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Chief Gant. King of Two. Prosecutors, bitch. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for Edgy. I think that might be it for yeah. Mr. Edgeworth. Let's get out of here, Edgeworth. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're so right, T-Mac. Yeah. I can't believe they left Pokemon out of the story. What? Bullshit. How fucking <laughs> rude. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I had something in my throat. Would either of you care for a quarter pound of roast beef? Miss Star! I guess she's out of lunches. What? It's ro Okay, not clown meat. <laughs> well, we can't all be winners. Pur purveying the, the meat of the clown. You certainly are the curious sort, aren't you? Kind of like the first person who's... Girl? <laughs> what? The, where the fuck did this come from? Girl? Okay, alright, alright. That's not how that happened, I think, maybe, hi-ho. <laughs> Is this a thing, like, that people say in Japan? Sorry, California? Japanifornia? <laughs> fuck if I know. Kind of like the first person who sucked a cow's nipple to discover milk. I'm so surprised you actually wrote it out loud. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a coward. Okay, you're not a coward. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 banned. Good oh. one. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I like that one. Uh, and it, was they were... going, it was definitely oh. going through my head, but you got there first. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And just like that, we're recasting Phoenix right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our, oh, impression? Angel spanning nonsense while Phoenix and Emma are baffled. Yes, I do believe the caviar is the teat of mankind. What? Uh, what? What are you? What are you talking about? Surely you have not yet pervaded the 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 memory of the clan memories. These are just words. <laughs> what? Wait, what the? <laughs> Emma, I'm lost. Help, science, I, now. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm getting out of this, Mister Wright. This, this isn't my scene. I'm, I'm out of here. She's like, uh, no, no, you, you were, you, you clearly read in the request right there. No, no, no. I mean, c c come on. I, that, that, that's all about uh, Miss Star doing some weird shit. Uh, uh, uh yeah, but I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm used to weird, but this is crazy. <laughs> Titties, Mister Wright. Huh? Hey, still, I never thought you'd go digging up that case from two years ago. Oh, the case sorry. of the first person who shot the cow's nipples? <laughs> oh, we screwed up to that. <laughs> yeah, that was two years ago, right? Yeah, everyone in the trial was involved with the SO9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day that the evidence was from that case was due for transfer. This can't be all attributed to mere coincidence. Aren't you forgetting something? You know, that little scene I happened to witness? The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter... At this point, he probably deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Roast beef is meant to be savored when eaten. Miss Dar's hatred toward beef. Lana. <laughs> 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 it's all dates back to two years ago. 
Sad music, huh? Tell me about the, 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 the clown memories. The clown me. <laughs> Tell me all about it. Joe Dark. That's a name I'll not soon forget. We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. Still, I don't think I was e ever more alive than I was then. Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Poor old Jake Marshall, though, must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? No, because it was a little human outside. Yes, because of his brother's <laughs> death, you simpleton. They I, mean, were I just have to ask. <laughs> they were close, those two. After yeah, Neil no stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing... He, he suddenly got into westerns and cowboys and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Her? Lana Sky. Hi, Vodka. We'll have a great stream. Thanks for popping in. Hi, Vodka. My sister. Vodka, you missed the cow nipples. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, we gotta do that again then, real quick. <laughs> no. My sister. The best of the best were put on that SL9 case. Of course, they were led by that legendary duo. The bestest of friends. <laughs> Lana. They are best friends. And Chief Gant. <gasps> the bestest friends. And the best big sisters. <laughs> no, instead of legendary duo now, they said the bestest friends. <laughs> <laughs> After case closed, the, the, the manga? That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we were so shocked over how it turned out. You mean with the forging of the evidence? Don't get me wrong. Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear, while other items were kept secret. But you didn't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what happened. After that case, all of us, save good men, were relieved of our duties. Most without even so much as an explanation. Then Lana Sky transferred to the prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. Lana always wanted to be a prosecutor. Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Huh? Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. You're being used? <laughs> what about the best best oh. friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damon Gant and Lana Sky. And then the music starts going to the da 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 Two What's the best big sister? Th oh, uh, turned uh, turn off to sister. my sister. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Is that the name of the track, or is that? It's literally what it is. Nice. Yeah, it's the one there. Yeah. Iconic. Two years ago, Gant mm -hmm. was chief detective and Lana second in command. They were the best. They solved all kinds of cases together, didn't they? Damon Gant's magnetism, in particular, was almost unreal. His magnetism, he has powers. <laughs> His raw animal magnetism, <laughs> he has powers. <laughs> By, by that, I mean his raw animal charisma. He'd probably- oh. he, He'd produce the most incredible evidence in the cases he handled. Incredible evidence? You mean- Oh, yes. There were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him, though. I take it she's talking about forged evidence. Back then? And, like, magnets. <laughs> magnets. How do they work? All the detectives wanted to be like Lana. Really? Oh, yes. Myself included. I was a fool, really. She hated anything crooked, and always watched out for the other detectives. What's up, Tristan? That's why she was so concerned for Jake. Mr. Marshall. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from his shock. That's what makes it all the more infuriating. Miss Star. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? <laughs> 
She's straight. Unfortunately so. <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Objection! <Sorry. laughs> Objection! She's she's gay as they come. <laughs> uh, I was trying to come up with a fucking one-liner, but I couldn't. Anyway. <laughs> Lon- <laughs> Uh, that was objectionable, anyway. <laughs> Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Don't worry, G. If you come up with a one-liner, you can just immediately say it. It doesn't matter what time during the stream. All right, you got it, you got it. It's just gonna be, like, in the middle of, like, a fucking, like, death theater or whatever. And be like, that's <laughs> it! Something about Cheetos. <laughs> you know what? It's only appropriate when it's during a death scene. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yes, thanks to Chief Gant's powerful influence. Chief... That's right. Having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. There was only one thing left for him to control. And then no one could stand in. His way. I was wondering about that. <laughs> I wonder what she was going to say, you know? Like... <laughs> the prosecutor's office. What? Why? Okay, wait. Okay, that, that was fucking weird. Did you guys see that? So, like, it went from prosecutor's office, like, colon there or whatever, then, like, capital, lowercase the prosecutor's office. Yeah. Right. I, I, oh, little huh. fucking... What? You mean... They need a beta. That's... Beta. They need They need someone to proofread this. <laughs> yeah, he's got a beta editor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's fixed in, like, the trilogy release now, but, like, you know. It must still. be. It has to be, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... It has to be. They like also changed small other parts of this case, so and, I can't imagine. And like the the text length, like they have more room for text in the remaster. Yeah, bigger screen, not just little Nia screen. Yeah. That's why Lana was transferred. If he could control the chief prosecutor, he could control the prosecutor's office. That must have been his goal all along. But how could he control Lana? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to conclude. There must have been a reason for her change. At last. I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. You listen to me, rookie. It takes more than just ingredients to create fine cuisine. I hope you turn out to be a better chef than I've been. I, t I keep on sucking on the teats of, of cows. It's... It is a problem. What an odd thing to oddly bring up, but you know, <laughs> hey, uh, I, we all have hobbies, Miss Gar. Okay. Yes, we, we all. Yeah, we all. <laughs> we all have our vices, rookie. Um, anyway. Not a hobby, Mr. Wright. We just went back to fucking Edward. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait, we're done here. Edward, uh, do you suck on the tea of a cow? Asking for a friend. What the fuck, Wright? <laughs> I don't know, I thought I was becoming a cow. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, you got me again, Phoenix Wright. Okay, Lana, <laughs> Lana, serious question here. No, no, don't ask him. Don't ask her that, please. Is this about the cow thing again? You know? Uh, again? It's like the guard in the back, like, oh, uh, man. Miss Star would not stop talking to me about it. She was very insistent. Oh, uh, no. I'll see who is here. Oh. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Fucking Persona 5. <laughs> Scumshoe. Scumshoe. Yeah. Oh, you, I, did, I didn't hear you say anything. I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, really? No. Uh oh. Ooh. Do it again. You're back. No. <laughs> oh, you're back. <laughs> Do it again. I wasn't looking. <laughs> you're back. <laughs> you just get more aggressive. Here. You're back. You're back. <laughs> you're so fucking back. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm neck. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> Who's supposed to be crack? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. Excuse me? That's what DJ is doing. You're DJ. Yeah, what the fuck is well? he talking about? From Total Drama Island and Total Drama World oh my Tour? God. Was he in action? I feel like he got snubbed from. Did he? No, wait, did he get snubbed I, from action? He, he must have, right? He must have. I, wait, didn't he have, like, an arc with Chef in that season? Am I crazy? That, that was a This is story. Emma and Phoenix talking, not not Esper and G. I just, <laughs> I pictured them having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, man, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't watched action in a while. Can, can someone look it up? DJ is in action. Okay. <laughs> My friend well, on the inside found out. 
Well, there's a character <laughs> named BJ in the, in the brilliant movie Looney Tunes Back in Action. Yo. Yo BJ DJ. Drake, played by Brendan Fraser. If I'm not mistaken, I think he oh, means that's... desk jockey. No, I've never heard that fucking term. Oh, that DJ. I gotta admire your persistency, but my answer is still no. <laughs> I'm not letting you in the chief's office, period. We're not Whatever. asking anymore. <laughs> It'd be my neck on the line. My neck. I'm also back. <laughs> now we need two more <laughs> for the complete set. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the infinity still. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That office is the last time, the last time, the last crime scene in the SO9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's gotta be something we can do to make the detective change his mind. I know I'm already in the office. Why right, do we need to go back? We got escorted out though. Jungle Line, if, oh. you yeah. think, if you think that Edgeworth would headcanon himself as a steel samurai and not the evil magistrate, we're not thinking of the same character. <laughs> That's actually a fair point. Oh my god. <laughs> um, wasn't it? We were in the middle of looking. Chief Ant came in. He escorted us out. But was there something that we said we wanted to look at, but we couldn't? Was there any like thing specific, or do we just want to generally go? And I don't remember. Uh, I think like the organ and like the picture and all that. Maybe. Oh, okay. Was there like a key or something? That don't he, like, maybe, like, I don't know. Oh, he had the safe. I think. Oh, right? that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That sounds familiar. He's fucking snoops. Okay. <laughs> fucking snoop. All right, Emma, what we're going to do is we're going to get the ladder. We're going to climb up to Chief Gant's window. Got it. Got it. Oh, my God. And you get the ladder and you see, like, Maya and Gumshoe already there. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. Oh, Emma, I told you get a ladder. That's a step ladder. You should have been more specific. <laughs> and then Maya's the top and she's like, yeah, you should have been more specific, Nick. Rookie <laughs> mistake. An angel story is up there too, and she's like, "Yes, indeed, a rookie." <laughs> Someone on the street passes by. Yeah, big mistake. <laughs> yeah, come on, Nick. Even I know that. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> okay, so what was what was Gumshoe talking about? He's like a desk jockey. Yeah, because oh he's like been demoted, basically. Oh, that's right. I've been studying up on those files. There's nothing wrong with Mr. Edgeworth's. S -s 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 weird capitalization there. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't. Yeah. I've been setting up on those files. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Edgar's presentation. To think people are accusing him of injustice. Well, yeah, no, injustice I think we're trust. totally right. I, for one, ain't buying it, pal. What I totally think? think we're right about this case, by the way. Like, someone, like, a dumb, another team had to do the translation on this one, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't buying it, pal. Like, no. Not. Every time I read, like, when, like, the news, like, uh, said, when the news, that, uh, when I read news that uh, include uh, references to specific tweets w by, by people who, like, capitalize random words, I always want to read them and shout those words. Yeah, right. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's fun. You're looking the keys for Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah. It was a pretty big deal while it was going on, you know. Damn, I guess so. After all, a serial killer was on the loose. Not Cinnamon Toast Crush! <laughs> <laughs> Lana was pretty, was pretty clear in her confession. She forged evidence in order to prove Joe Dark guilty. Uh... Fucking serial killer. <laughs> You dealt with one, you dealt with them all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One minute is like Frosted Flakes, the next minute is Fruit Loops. <laughs> uh... oh, I got you. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm oh. coming to the rescue, just give me a hot second. Hell yeah. Not a cold second, a hot one. Uh, what okay. about a lukewarm one? Talk. I said what I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, talk to Emma. Talk to Lana. Okay, move to the police department. Talk to Marshall. Move to Chief's office. Okay. Talk to Gumshoe. We presented that. Yes, we... Yes. Yes? Yes. Um. Yeah. yeah. We we presented the switchblade knife to Gumshoe. Yes. I believe I think. we did. Let me check. Yeah, we talked about the murder. Ta uh, go to his conversations. Uh, we did all of his convos. Yeah, I think that's how okay. we unlocked the combo with Edward. Um, yes, okay, and then... 
Oh, I got it. Okay, go to uh, Edward's office. Again? Did we forget something? You sure did. What? You surely did, because he rem he didn't throw the ball of paper out of his window in actuality. He threw it on oh, the floor. Oh, we have to examine oh! it! Yes, he was That's writing a... something. He crumbled it up. Oh. And now we must snoop. Oh. He, he blocked and which, it! Exactly! That, that's lame, but yeah. I wonder what he was writing before. Come on, Mr. Wright. Let's take a look. While he's still in the room, are, are you crazy? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? Edward, Edward is sitting right there. Just distract him. I'll check it out. So, uh, you seen any good movies lately? Uh, oh, yeah. Edward? <laughs> I've only Happy seen... birthday to the ground! Sorry, that was for Team Please, enough nice. of this stupid cow's udders thing. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I will neither confirm nor deny my interest in cow udders. You need to get a life right. Live my life. <laughs> Wong. Did that detective <laughs> gumshoe out there? Oh, wait a minute, it's real! <laughs> oh, God! Is that detective gumshoe out the window there? Oh, no! He's falling oh, to the ground! God. And the ground to the ground! <laughs> Hold on. First, let me see what this girl's doing crawling around my feet. <laughs> it's uh, and the ghost is gonna die! <laughs> yes, and? <laughs> he didn't even look. That's not how a yes and works, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> what? Letter. If you can't read, I'll read it for you. It says, Letter of Resignation. <laughs> Let of re 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 resignation Edward, you don't mean. I'm tired, Mr. Wright. Me too. I, I feel as if something inside me has died. But Mr. Edgeworth, none of it is your fault. I know the path I've walked. You don't need to tell me. And the path I've walked hasn't been a just one. I can't forgive myself for what I've done. And no one else should forgive me either. I think he's serious. Mr. Wright! Please! You have to do something! This letter of resignation. I wonder if I can use it for anything. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> We're gonna turn that into gumshoe. Yeah! We're gonna tell Edward's shit to everyone. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Edward's he's thinking of resigning! Wow! Well, hey, pal! I'll keep that quiet. Can't believe he's resigning, <laughs> though! <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Also, oh my I, God. I love, I, I love, love, I love this arc in Edgeworth because it's a very Riku coded arc. Oh my God! Not Riku from coded, <laughs> but like Riku coded. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Riku yeah. Riku from that's... coded. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy Journal crisis. Riku. Oh, spoilers. Plot <laughs> uh... twist: the fucking. Uh, oh wait, I'm about the to animation you've been working on is not about Riku. It's been about Data Riku the entire time. Oh my God, <laughs> can you imagine? Where yeah, right. Going? Here I'm going. There I'm going. Yo, Gumshoe, keep it hush hush. But um, we got some tea. This is crumbled up piece of paper. No, no, no way! No way! Mr. Edward can't be serious! Is he ever not serious? Can't believe they pushed him this far. Mr. Edward really feels responsible. At first, I thought he was cold as ice. But now I know different. He trusted us detectives to provide him with sound evidence. But we just... We betrayed him. The detective. That's it. I've made up my mind. Yeah. But, 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 but. Here, take my ID card. Yo! Oh. We can't do that if someone found out. They wouldn't let you off the hook with another lost item report. Look at me. It's no secret I'm already out of the loop. After all, I'm friends with Mr. Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. I mean, I basically pay to work anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> so at least let me do this. For Mr. Edgeworth's sake.
Gumshoe is such a bro. Right? He's oh. such a real one. I love him. He'd ride or die. All right, detective. Thank you. Gumshoe's ID tucks swiftly into your pocket. I love the little Do we know player. what his number is? Uh... What's your number? Let's see. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> uh... What are you? Oh, maybe we, maybe we can't see. I'm you, but stronger. <laughs> Two, maybe? Detective Gumshoe isn't very photogenic, is he? Okay, you can fuck out of here, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, just don't say that to his face! Uh... He's gonna be, like, on the top of the career! <laughs> Look, his eyes are half shut. Uh... They're fully <laughs> shut. Yeah, and his mouth is half open. Uh... Uh... <laughs> hey, each of his shirt buttons is off a notch. And he's got the narrow end of his tie in front. Uh... I am going to kill you both. That's Gumshoe's just... voice. That's Gumshoe talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, fuck it, it's Dabba. <laughs> <laughs> I think this goes beyond being a photogenic issue. Damn. Let's see what his number Bully. is. Bully. 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 Is it 584-385? Okay, looks... Oh, that looks like a 2 or a 3 to me. That kind of looks like a... It might... Four, yeah. two, one, uh... That's a 3. Hmm. Okay. Gumshoe ID number. <laughs> Does it actually say? I mean, on I'm the sure wiki? You... No. I'm... What do you mean it doesn't say on the wiki? But it has this really fun, please expand me! Um, in the voice of a beloved character. Oh. That's fun. I will share it. Let's move on over. Chief's office. Yo, Annex has the Rebirth demo. Was it fun? No spoilers. <gasps> no right. Yeah, no, no spoilers. Yeah, no spo spoilers. Oh, no spoilers or I will cry. <laughs> no spoilers, but was it fun? <laughs> mm-hmm. Here goes, Mr. Wright. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Why is that character on the wiki? <laughs> Damn it, Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Good, good for, for him. him. Good for him. <laughs> Open sesame. If anyone finds us now. Detective, Detective Gumshoe the goner. <laughs> if that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. I wish she just punched him out. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. But today I learned something. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! What, what if he slaps him too? <laughs> oh my gosh, please, please. What are you doing sneaking up on us like that? I, I, I wasn't sneaking. I was just worried something might go wrong. Snooping as usual, I see. So I came too! Teehee! Well, if you're here, then what's the point of giving us your ID card? I want to look cool. Is that a crime? <laughs> hey, don't do that to my card. Don't crumple that shit. I hardly ever get a chance to come in here. So I figured I'd have a look around myself. When in Rome! Besides, we're all in this together now. This is Japan we're all in this together. I don't know the lyrics. Neither yeah, I. I, I, I fair enough, enough. Neither do I. <laughs> you really do want to get fired, don't you? Not if we're lucky. Now, come on, let's see what we can find out. What a lie. You, you want to get fired, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> I've got a bad oh feeling about this. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's exam. Exam? I didn't study! Ah! Oh, bollocks. This is a safe, isn't it? Safe. That word is ripe with intrigue. Uh, okay, if you say so. It looks like a code needs to be entered in this panel to open it. Oh, fuck. A seven-digit number. I think I just might know what it is. Uh, oh, wait, uh, maybe... Uh... Wait a minute, is it, is it the, uh... <laughs> oh, it totally is. If it's seven digits. In all seven. Yes! <laughs> 424, 24. <laughs> How do you know what it is? Have you played this game before? Uh, uh... Yeah. Hmm. I have a hunch. 
Oh, I know. You want to try my birth date? It's. Why would it? Be... It's. I will never know Gumpy's it's... birthday. I'm we know Hunter's right. birthday from Spyro. Oh. I forget what it is, but. Two two four seven yeah. five. I love this. So fucking funny. Come on, come on, come on. Come yeah! On. Come on. Yeah, baby! Yeah! yeah! Woo! I love that. Oh, that was good. Bingo! What does it name up? What number did you enter? Is that pal? Seven, 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 seven. The final ID card number on that record. You only said six sevens. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> fucked up! No! I was counting up my figure that I went. <laughs> I'm a fraud. <laughs> what? You're not a fraud. The number of the mysterious ex executive officer who entered the room that day. You mean... 777777? <gasps> that ID number? You're one less! I think you're one seven shy this yeah, time. I was copying you. <laughs> well, you know, geez, do they say now they do. This can only mean one thing, that Chief Gant's ID number! Say, anyone care to look inside? Oh no, I just want to no. get the safe. I don't really care. Yeah, I, yeah I just like yeah, cracked what, the code. What, what, what's up, it. The desk on the other side of the room. Was that your sister's? Yeah, that's where I was waiting for Lana. On that day, two years ago. And she's fine being in this room now? Is anyone <laughs> using it now? No, sir. This is entirely Chief Gant's office now. What the fuck? He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. That's a strange reason to leave it there. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert, to know that no one can ever be his best, best friend. Oh. He told us so oh. himself at our New Year's party. Of course, he was pretty intoxicated at the time. Oh god. <laughs> I see. What was, what was he drinking? So, yeah, honestly. So ever since Straight Lana, up Everclear. <laughs> yo, Everclear, I could get some of that. So ever since Lana left, no one ever touches the desk? No one except Chief Gant. And the cleaning lady who's in here each morning. Yo, and the number one winner pack. of the SpaghettiO competition. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never know. Oop, doggo. No two years have passed since that incident. There, there can't possibly be any clue remaining, can there? Maybe. Could there be? Uh... Alright, well, let's try Gumshoe, get out of the way! <laughs> For real. Quick, quick, get out of the way! Is there Move it, move it, move Does it! Does he have stashed away? Is it better than your allowance? Look, it's a, uh, uh... <laughs> Fucking allowance! Two bottles of luminol? A shard from a broken cup? Somehow looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? There's something else in here too. What? What's this? It looks like a piece of leather cloth. Let's check it out. This is a handprint, isn't it? Hey, someone should have like that once. You think the chief made up the design? Oh, what a fashionista. Uh, I designer. Don't... I don't think Man so. Of many talents. Can you oh. still hear me? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can hear you, Barnabas. Okay. Well, it was just a thought. Is that it? This is all that was in the safe? Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it and a broken shard from a cup. They, they look like pieces of evidence. But unless you can prove this is a solid Fuck. but unless you can prove they have something to do with the case. Did they just complete each other's sentence? <laughs> oh yes they did, they're in the <laughs> I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great, right, now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. Come on, Gumshoe. <laughs> Later T Mac, have fun at trivia. Bye, T Mac. How are these two items related to the SO9 incident? Bye, T-Mac, by the way. Come on! There's gotta be something we can show the detective. Yeah, I love how he's like, let's break in. Okay, but now I'm gonna gatekeep. Yeah, right? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I cracked the safe. Uh, relevancy. I guess maybe the fucking. That's the ID card record, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, there's only one number left to investigate at 4.20 p.m. That's so funny. Nice. The victim, Detective Goodman, must have entered the evidence room along with someone else. Oh my god, I saw that as Detective Gumshoe, like, as the victim, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Can you imagine Ace Attorney 7 stars, like, fucking Gumshoe, like, the first victim or something? We don't even- <gasps> we don't I would even, quit! We don't even get, like, a 3D render of him. Yeah, no I would immediately model. quit. I'd be like, fuck this game. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Someone with an executive number. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> Is that enough? That's more. That's too many. <laughs> That's one seven too many, detective. Well, I was making up for last time. What do you want me to do? An executive officer. Hmm. I might just have a hunch. That's one seven for everyone. Recount! Do when you talk? No. But can we? Oh, Chief Gan. There, there is a, there is a talking point. point. Yeah, that, that yeah, was there, there was. that was there before though. Oh, I yeah. get it. I kind of zoned out from the recount. Can I? Yeah, I already read that. Fucking let me in. All right, let me. All talk right, Emma, you, you go like... into the TV. Yeah, just go into the TV. <laughs> go in the TV um... world. Can I ask you something? No, Alright, I'm gonna that... strip him and I'll do the run to the safe. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that was Gumshoe's yeah. line. Sorry, right, go ahead. No, no, run it back. <laughs> I can't go backwards, but. <laughs> uh, damn, mom, you can, like, say it, you know? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> well, you can, oh, no, wait, wait. You can say it. You can have that Phoenix line. Yeah. Take it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. You only came here to look around, right? Because it's one of the SL9 crime scenes. I mean, that's your only reason for coming here, isn't it? It's your only reason for talking to me. It's your only reason why, why, why you're friends with me. It's so, the only reason. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I mean <laughs> Listen, Gumshoe. <laughs> why do you ask? You don't think... Nah. You wouldn't be... No. No. Th there's no way. There's... No. N never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, now then, let's look around a bit more. Hey, hold on! You're not so fast, buddy. Fuck. Huh? What is it? When someone tells you, don't worry about it, it's supposed to start bothering you, pal. You don't just let it go at that. What kind of person are you? You should say what you mean. <laughs> yeah, sorry, this guy's starting to get my nerves. Okay, so what's bothering you? You two don't think Chief Gant might be a suspect, do you? No. No. Nah. Never. Can't Not the be. best best friend. Not the best best. Yeah, Mr. Wright, what do we think of him? Is he the best big sister? Or the spaghetti -o eater? Chief Gant, so it's finally come to this. He'd never be second place. Never, he'd be first. Never trust. Never trust a man who likes swimming this much. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I say. Never <laughs> trust a fucking Catholic priest. <laughs> yeah, look at that <laughs> shit! Who wears pink sunglasses. You're so right. What do I think of him? He's a small guy. Perhaps it's best I don't divulge my feelings yet. Unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary. There he goes, ignoring me again. Uh, I don't think we want Phoenix to have unnecessary feelings for Gantt. I'm a good boy. <laughs> new chef. Okay. We can't control that. <laughs> that's up to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, that's his choice. Safe, isn't it? Right with intrigue. Uh... No, it's a danger. <laughs> danger, danger. Do we present anything new? Anything else? Anything more? What the fuck? What's the new gumshoe do? We're What's coming new? after you. Uh... What's new gumshoe? Yeah. Oh, where are we? We're in Uh What if we? What if we just present? I don't know. Be like, hey. Look at these fingerprints, Detective Gumshoe. I'd like you to have a oh, to have look at this. Hey, I know what that is. So you want to take some fingerprints, eh? 
Oh, that's, that's a, a good point. That's a great idea, detective. I do not think that would work. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, go to town. Sheesh. 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 What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Oh, got me. Uh, go, well, go ahead. Take my fingerprints. Um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. What? Why not? Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. We were talking about that cloth we found in the safe. We were? <laughs> oh, I... Oh, I knew that. The one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh! It's your sense of humor! He's just a sheesh kind of guy now. Yeah, he's like, sheesh! Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Sprinkle Specifically cow. quoting, um, oh, I forget Lord. which Ariana Grande song it is, but Pharrell samples it and he goes, sheesh! <laughs> Iconic. Sprinkle the powder on the cloth. Then, once they've been absorbed into the prints, blow the rest away. Oh, God. What are you, my mom? I don't have to be told a million times. Oh, damn. All right, let's get this over with. All right. All right. You are you going to mute on stream, or what are you going to do? I'll, I'll mute everywhere. Okay, hold on. I'm muting on stream. And as mysteriously she came upon us, she vanished. <laughs> a hundred years passed. <laughs> we never heard from her again. <laughs> My brother and I discovered the new Esper. <laughs> An airbender named Aang. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, hello. Hello. What Good blowing. Doing here? I don't know. We're commentating while Esper is... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Mm, I gave it my best shot. It just wasn't good enough. Oh my god, okay. Do I have to do another one? Yes, you do. That kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? But it doesn't look like we'll get a clearer result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Okay, oh, okay. um... Okay, um... Um, interesting conversation and topic. Um... um what's your favorite color? <laughs> The, the, the blue. I, I like the blue. For you. Blue's a good color. Dependable. Flexible. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very <laughs> flexible. The shades look very good, you know. Um, yes, lots of shades. I feel like blue has a lot of good shades. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, whereas with, like, red, for example, I feel like the red isn't as flexible, you know? Then you start getting into, like, maroon territory, you know? Yeah, I feel like blue actually does have a lot of uh, versatility to it. <laughs> I feel like I sound like an asshole, but I do mean that. <laughs> no, like genuinely blue. Like you could be like a dark blue. You could be like a light blue, a cyan, even yeah. like a teal almost. Yeah, you know? teal, turquoisey. Yeah. Where it's like I really like yellow, but the yellow is kind of limited. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm convincing myself. Blue is the most versatile color. It really, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Because I feel like other colors, yeah, if you veer, like, then it's, like, kind of not that color. But blue, like, you can't really stretch it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, blue can have different meanings, too. Like, a dark blue can, like, symbolize, like, sadness. And, like, uh, I don't know, a cyan could be, like, happiness or, like... Yeah, know. happy. You got sleepy. You got peace. You, you yeah. got all the... Yeah. Yeah. And it's tumultuous, like a storm. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. I, you got a lot of... I, it's very versatile. Wow, I really like blue now. I mean, I've always liked blue, but I like really like blue now. <laughs> I prefer green. Ooh, silver works well too. Green does. A, green is also another one that has a lot oh, of shades. Oh, green's too. really good. Yeah, and it's like fresh, yeah, fun, well, yeah. springy. I like can, green. Yeah, like green could imply like nature, like and all that jazz, but it also could be like sickly or like ill, you know. Oh my gosh, right. you're so right. Ooh. Um, blue bother. What do you think about the color blue, Esper? Blue's cool. Blue's Gucci. <laughs> nice. That's not, that's not Gant. That's not Gantu. No, not my Gantu. Gantu. Oh. <laughs> not my Gantu. Oh! Ooh, brown. You know what? I've become a real brown appreciator the more, like, art I've been doing. Because you're like, wow, brown's a good color, actually, though. I used to not like brown. Brown is such, like, a good color that, like, works with a lot of others. It's just a warm. Yes. <gasps> brown and red together? Really Ooh, good. Yes. Underrated. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does brown and red together make bread? <gasps> Fuck. 
<laughs> I guess burn my bread. No, it makes a round. <laughs> no, how can this be? Bread! <laughs> what are Emma's <laughs> fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match? Whose fingerprints were they? She was uh -huh. the villain this whole time. Oh, uh, <laughs> it seems the prints are too old. Ah, uh, they are clear enough to get a match, yeah. Aw, that's too bad. I yep. thought they'd be Dark's prints. Hey, you, over here. Hey, what's Buy a sundial. <laughs> what's going on here? What are that kid's prints doing inside the chief's safe? Don't ask me. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Hey, what are you guys talking about over there? You hear something, got you? Uh, uh, nipples. The cow nipples. Uh -oh. it, it's fine. It's 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 um, chill. It's the, don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm, the I'm cow gone. nipples. I'm I'm I'm, go I'm gone. <laughs> Here, uh, maybe you should hold on to this. Uh, he fucking teleports over. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Why if we use oh, why if we use luminol on the um the 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 boss? Uh -huh. Look a bitch. Hey, let's buy some of that stuff. Got you. Oh wait, no, we already yeah. did this, didn't we? It's like a, a hair. Yeah. <laughs> Poor gummy. What about this? Detective Gumshoe, can you have another look in this jar? All of us put that back together. Those were the days we put it together, then we <laughs> went back in time and we put it together again. <laughs> it's kind of early to be nostalgic. Yeah, you know, I know I was lost, but I miss those days. That's a song lyric. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't this jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right. One of the shards had an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know that fragment we just found? You mean this one? That was in the safe? Yeah, that one. That was in the safe. Oh, this that was in the safe. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Excitement. Now that you mention it. It's ringing a lot of bells. Yes. Oh, God. Why would we leave it be? Here, let me see that shard. I'll take a crack at this. A crack? <laughs> Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie can do. I'll just sit over here. Mr. Wright, you do it. <laughs> here's some glue. I can't piece this together again. It'll, if I can, okay. It'll prove Chief Gat has no only hit evidence. Here goes. Boop. Oh, thank Wait. God. I don't have to That's use... Fair. Yeah. What's the name of the stream? This time we don't. That's funny. Okay, alright. You changed it? <laughs> or no, you didn't... Oh, well... <laughs> Oh my. I mean, at least it was only the one piece, thank god. One piece! <laughs> it fits like a charm. That, of course, means Chief Gat willingly and knowingly hit a piece of this jar in his safe. The one piece. <laughs> the one piece is real. Oh my god. It's good. Can you imagine? After all this time in one piece. And they're like, what's the one piece? I wonder what the one piece is. And then they find the fucking one piece. And then it's got the fucking blue badger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fuck. Well can, well, can you get much higher than that? Honestly, that's, Another word. that's peak keto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In other words, he concealed a piece of evidence from the SO9 incident. But... Uh, hey guys, get a load of this! What is it? This piece you just attached. It's different from the others. Oh. Uh. Whoa. There's a reddish line on it. A reddish line. That's blood. I don't get it. <laughs> it's Kool-Aid. <laughs> why would why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? Uh. The unstable jar. Um, what do we present it to him? 
Yeah, I mean, what else do we have to do in here? Get the full jar. Door is a jar. I feel a lot better now that this jar is complete. Just like in my soul, I feel better. <laughs> Yeah, it was really fucking with my OCD. <laughs> it only raises another question. What was a piece of it doing in the chief safe? More importantly, why wasn't there any money in there? What the fuck? I thought he had $50 to spare! Isn't that what safes are for anyway? Perhaps. I have a feeling the outcome of tomorrow's trial just might hinge on this. Wah. Let's see if there's Rah. anything else. Rah. You know what I mean? Actually, no, I gotta shut up. I gotta shut up. I had a thought that was gonna be a spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> I caught myself. I caught myself. Ooh, one sec. Okay. Uh, exam. Safe in it? What else do we do in here? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what else do we need in here? Can we figure it out? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, she didn't mean to examine. Whoops. Oh, well, it's good because the chief's organ sure is a sight to behold. Occasionally, we hear him playing it from the criminal affairs department. Ooh. What I song do you think he plays? Uh, My Way from by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's on the second floor, and this is the 15th. No, I think he plays Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. <laughs> when a detective screws up, the chief calls him to his office and makes him listen to the organ for hours. What the? What's so bad about that? Music soothes the soul. After that, the detective can't hear anything for days except the ringing in his ears. It's an instrument of punishment, literally. Goodness. But aren't the chief's ears affected? He doesn't have ears. <laughs> he never listens to anyone anyway. <laughs> That's besides the point. Oh, golly. Um, look. <laughs> Thank you. When I was a young man, my father. This again? No. What can we do in here? Do we have to, like, examine that, like, little statue by the window? Oh, little night maybe. Guy. A little night. This is the real deal, isn't it? The armor and these weapons. Sure is, pal. The chief doesn't care for imitations. First the pipe organ, now this armor. Do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone in this room? What? You mean we're paying for this? That's it. I'm not paying one cent of my taxes. No, no, that Emma. Was worth it. Uh, Emma, no, no, you have to. Uh, can can I tell you all something? Yeah. Um, I'm going to anyway. But um, <laughs> this is legit real. Uh, when I was five years old, my mom bought a suit of armor, like a real big suit of armor. But she got it super a billion times. Like she only bought it for fifty dollars because it's missing a shoe. And his name is King Eddie, and she still has it. And we just have a suit of armor in our house. Yo. King Eddie, and what we do is when you order pizza, you would put the pizza money in his little sleevey um, of his armor, so then we'd open the door, and this uh, the suit of armor is like, that's like the first thing you see when you entered our house, and I just take the money out and give it to the pizza man. <laughs> that's that's actually kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, does the... oh, King Eddie the shoe, because he's missing a shoe. <laughs> Did, do you give him like a separate shoe, like a, like a sneaker or something? <laughs> oh my god, no, but I wish. <laughs> Hi, Frosty! Welcome in. Hey, Frosty. Hey. Oh, my mom did tax evasion. No, she just has a suit of armor named King Eddie. <laughs> oh, and then when we were young, what she had us do legitimately was um, when we'd enter the house, she would make us all, me and my sisters, curtsy to King Eddie. But that only lasted for like a little bit. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have any taxes to pay. <laughs> yeah. Yet. Shh. Be careful of what you say. The IRS. Who knows? The chief may be hiding in this armor as we speak. <laughs> Like a fucking Scooby Doo villain over there. Oh my god. What's up, Matt? <laughs> I don't think he'd fit in there. Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. I don't know. You guys don't know how scary that guy can be. 
<laughs> like crawled out of the organ. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Crawls out. Ew. <laughs> With just a huge ass smile on his face. <laughs> Swimming, anybody? Swimming, the organ. <laughs> Swimming in the suit of armor. Uh, <laughs> wow! Don't we all just swim in suits of armor every day? So true. So true. Hold wow. on. When you say swim in suits of armor, do you mean you're wearing a suit of armor while swimming, or are you swimming in a pool of suits of armor? Uh, the first one. Okay. I no. I kind of pictured like you're lost inside of the armor, and you're just like in a metaphysical space that you're swimming inside of. Okay, so neither. <laughs> anything. Anything your heart desires. <laughs> Speaking of that, when we were here earlier. Whoa. That's Gan. Look, oh, look. it's you two. Chief Gan. He put that paper he was reading in his desk. Oh, oh. that's right. I forgot about that. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> Do we get a four? Okay, I wonder what he would be reading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a list of evidence used in a case. A list of evidence? In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. Oh, huh. Edgeworth had one of these too. That's true. Hey, look at the key's name. Huh? That's all nine incident. I. What is this doing here? Come, Shu. Hold on, detective. What did you just say? Think about it. I said, I wonder what, dot dot dot. No, 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 about evidence list. Normally they're twice as long. That's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence, huh? A half size list of, list of evidence? The list of evidence, it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. What would the other half of this list be doing here? I knew it! The chief must be hiding something about that case. It would appear so. Evidence list added to the court record. Okay, great job, everybody. Let's go out for a happy hour now. <laughs> so, well, was there any help? Swimming, anyone? <laughs> of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. Get some hard time. Oh, that might be Gant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Barnabas. No, that's not very kind, is it? In other words, what if it's the droopy guy? <laughs> In other words... <laughs> In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. <laughs> the villain. The secret villain. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right, you in the coat? But you... You can't! We didn't think you'd be uh, back so soon. <laughs> we, we came to some story of the bride party! <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. Yeah, what are you, an Aquarius? Capricorn. Aries? Ooh. An Aries, actually! Yo! As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run right into a pole. Just then I thought of a certain detective. Do, do you mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Yes, sir. Sorry. Oh. You in the coat. Uh, me, me, sir? Drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. Oh! Ooh. Sir, but... Now get out! Ooh. Y yes, sir. We'll be on our way, too, then. Wait! You, the one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. Uh, me, um, sir? I'd like a word with you. I, I don't. But, sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. You with the spiky hair, you're free to go. I don't know if I will. Mr. Wright! You know, I could just leave if you wanted to. 
Yeah, I, 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 so I see no reason for her to stay back there. Well, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Chief's office is off limits. Well, he told me like a few times. But no! You just had to go sneaking in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this... Never said it! Now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in his office, I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. Oh, it's hydrate time. I do have water this time. I am! <laughs> it's hard to believe anyone could keep quiet about, all, about it all this time. <laughs> Uh, hold on. You I'm typing something hilarious. Okay, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you listening to me? <laughs> Damn, Bob! <laughs> We're gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. Oh, wait, by, by the way, do you think do you think he'll still give me that those $50? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I get fired after the $50 <laughs> anyway. <laughs> After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her some questions. Oh, dude! So she'll be busy for the rest of the day. Oh, a lot of time. One on one? Meekins? Me <laughs> Godslayer? Godslayer? I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. I was wondering where the buzz buzz was. It's lonely without it. No use thinking about it. Tomorrow, the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over these past couple of days... ...is absolutely nothing. Not a single useful thing. Damn, call her out. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. Who is it you're hiding behind those words? That looks like me when she's shocked. Just saying. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. I mean, they both... Okay, uh... <laughs> they, they, they both have matching red scarves, I'm just saying. And matching Ooh. shocked expressions. <laughs> Seems Edgeworth was right. I'm right here. Edgeworth? Edge <laughs> Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. Why oh, she? Been quiet. I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not you that you're unwilling. It's not you that's unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say. So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No. I think you're afraid is more like it. If I'm Ch not mistaken, <laughs> the person in question may have persuaded you to si you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, whom may I ask is this person you're speaking of? The one I am supposedly so frightened of? What is this person's name? Uh, the God Slayer. Clearly the God Slayer. I'm like, older on. than Mike Meekins? Oh no. Oh god. What are all these ages? I, oh yeah, I'm the same age as Lana. Almost the same age as Gumshoe, oh dear. Yo. <laughs> oh, I'm the same age as Gant. Oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh no. Well, this guy? Well, he's no God Slayer, but... <laughs> Mr. Wright, you are addressing the chief prosecutor. Do not forget your place. 
I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about the circumstances? We were part- or wait. Was I supposed to ask about the circumstances or was that Phoenix? Uh, that, <laughs> that, I think that was Phoenix. I think Phoenix like was like, okay, Dammy Gant, tell me about him. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's all right, I did yeah. it earlier. That's all <laughs> I'm having a conversation with myself, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> we were partners until two years ago. Respected him as a detective. Assuming he's respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgeworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically, hiding and forging evidence. Of course. These are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that Chief Gan's name was never mentioned? Chief Gan? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly investigated that evidence was... Me. Ooh. Me, Kins. Me. The Godfather. Kins. <laughs> I can't say his name all at once. It's <laughs> too powerful. Too, too, too strong. <laughs> I had access, because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you. But, but also, but one, also one other. Damon Gant. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gan falsified evidence in that case. Ooh, I think oh, it's gonna be the evidence list. Take that! I just found this in the safe, in a safe in the chief's office. Okay, we didn't find that in the safe. That was in the drawer. Oh, whatever. That this jar piece and the strip of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SO9 incident. What's up, Van? How's it, how's it going? Hi, Van. Hi. The person concealing evidence was, no was none other than Chief Gant himself. Oh, okay, impression time. Meekins in a shonen anime battle where he believes he's won because he landed his god slaying technique, Come being on. shocked to learn <laughs> that his opponent Damon Gant survived. Ooh. Shit. Oh my god, I wish I, like, could come up with the term immediately of, like, his most powerful move. Okay, sir! I- here- here I go! <laughs> No, no one has ever survived this technique, sir. I... It's over. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Gant. Yeah, yeah, how does Gant re respond to Meekin's powerful attack? Yeah. Don't be swimming anymore, sir. <laughs> Is this the best you can do, my boy? <laughs> you need to go swimming you... more often with me. You... No, no one's ever survived. <laughs> <laughs> he does that like thing where he chokes himself with his handcuffs because I guess he's also like handcuffed in this scenario. <laughs> well, that that's the only For way someone can limit. It. That's the only way someone can limit his power. <laughs> oh my god, you're so right. The power inhibitor. <laughs> now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Now tell me why a. <laughs> <laughs> Touché, Mr. Wright. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Or perhaps I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Best friends don't take the blame for each other, but best best friends, on the other hand, they absolutely mm -hmm. do. I, it's best also different when you're the best big it. sister. Yeah. yeah. Orders. Although I can't tell you the details. I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. 
You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. You'll be able to tell which one Miles Edgeworth's car is. It's very hard to miss. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk was broken. I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. The knife from the SL SL9 incident! Serial killer jo Joe Dark's knife! I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. Did, did you really have to, Lana? I had to. Okay. No. I, I no. trust. If you were there, if you had, if seen, you had it. seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. Oh, you're so, so true. <laughs> that would be Edgeworth's knife? That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that's the reason for the, the bandage on your right hand? Yes. Seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then... She saw me just as he ran into my knife ten times. Just as I plunged the knife in. <laughs> Miss Star. Oh, don't worry, Jaw. You can always see it in the VOD. I think it's, like, gonna be a minute, tw er, minute an hour 20 in. And, um, I'm pretty sure that anime episode uh, is a frequent rerun because it's really good. Ooh, <laughs> so true. So true. Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? Give me the knife. What the? Oh, hi, hey. Halo. It took, <laughs> it took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. So, you had Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hit it. An Edgeworth exhaust pipe. I put the muffler in the muffler. Oh. Right. Huh. Then I called my sister. Tell her what happened and to ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident. About Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. Ooh. Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Officer Goodman and tried to steal the evidence! He had already stolen the ID card. But it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? Are we going to see the video? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. Alana. 
You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now, please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial. There's only one way to drive off Lana through demons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything. That's literally what she asked you not to do. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm a bad listener. Phoenix, Phoenix, listen to me. Look at me. Read yep. my lips. Yep. Don't fucking do it. Do I, not, do not stop. Oh, Cease fucking and desist. do it. You love it. So, yep. No, 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 no. It. I'm going to do it. No, I said do not. Do uh, yeah. not. Do it. Maybe I, some reverse psychology would work here. <laughs> no, I'm too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, Lana, you bet, bet, bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do it. That's like I with do my little kids, it. my you students, don't. if I'm like, don't eat this yet, and they'll be like, all they hear is eat this. Ugh, and you're like, okay, but if I say eat this, then they're going to eat it. There's no winning. Detective Goodman's real murderer. Okay, I was trying to pull the, uh, the Bugs Bunny thing on him, but... He didn't, he didn't, uh, bite. And what went down in the chief's office two years ago. I didn't. Ooh, investigation done. Last Thank court. Holy God. Fuck. Is it all just court stuff now? I think it's, it's all, court, all court stuff, but, um, I said this before, but unlike literally every single case, I'm pretty sure for the rest of the trilogy... Which are there all two? This one is split into three. I do not believe. Or no, there's some that are split, like split into three sections in one day. I don't think any other case does that. Yeah, it varies. I see. Also, don't mind me. Oh yeah, yeah. All those fucking space. <laughs> <laughs> do not mind it... me in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, because I think some like you have three days of court, but they're always split into two one or two sections. I don't think any's ever split into three sections, except for this time. Hooray! So, but now that we're here, I'm feeling pretty confident we'll finish this by next week. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. This is the defendant lobby, alright? But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if Something's been happening behind the scenes. Something's been happening behind the scenes. Oh, no. <laughs> Edward, why did you sound like that? Oh, uh, I just wanted to try my ventriloquism career, considering I am resigning, as you know. Oh, oh so you're trying uh, a couple of new creative outlets, okay? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, I, I, I figured. I mean, my, 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 my steel samurai writings are not lucrative in the slightest. I need sustenance. Knowing you, yeah. you've already figured it out. <laughs> what it is, what what my handle is on ao3.com. <laughs> org, I'm so sorry. Who the owner of the 777-7777 ID number is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, from that list, I can call for a ruling. On the defendant. Five minutes after the trial starts, Lana will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much, and that's why I came here. To hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SO9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. <laughs> we don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. Also, we reminisced about the past on your last day of trial, Edward, so what the fuck? I did not ask for that, you know. See you in court, right?
This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gan has on her, it is now! Yeah, what's up, Buffoon? We're finally on the last day of the trial. Yeah, last day of fucking rising the <laughs> How long is this court section? I mean, I know, um, like, yeah. On paper, it doesn't look long. <laughs> <laughs> but in dialogue, do you think it's probably? Huh? Do you think what? we could probably finish it today if we go a little longer? I am so fucking down for that. Yeah, I'm. Well, let me look. Okay. Like, okay, okay you know sure, what? Sure. I. Yeah, let's. I feel like let's play it by ear. But you know what? I. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. We hold ball? on. It, it depends. You know what? Yeah. 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 yeah That's yeah, the yeah. spirit. Look at that. Welcome, interested and change. Let's hydrate. Ooh, well, I am. Water too. Okay. Woo. -hoo. Um. All right. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Court. <clears throat> Woo. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Hmm. Mr. Rich? But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Judge, you have to capitalize on the start of your sentence. I am the judge. Yeah. I can do whatever I want. Chief can't. He's not there. there. Oh, shit. There he is. Teleported in. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, Utty. Been back to the pool yet? Uh, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. Oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. I can't believe he called the judge a hoe. If you don't, well, I can't believe he called the judge a top. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Okay, we're doing this. Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. You want to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. Oh yeah, let me save, hold on. Tug, tug, tug. Tug, tug, tug. You know, a couple more saves for the road. For the road. For the road. <laughs> In the end, it should it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. I don't know about that one. What's this all about, defendant? I just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request, Your Honor? I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office with candlestick. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a... Objection! <laughs> you can't! You're on it! The defendant's claim does not change the defense, defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. Ooh. Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an eternity. <laughs> right to an eternity, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the prosecution may lack di da -da -da -da. the prosecution may lack direct evidence against me but it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. It appears the time for the verdict has arrived. 
This court finds the defendant. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Objection! Objection. Your Honor, that's fucking dumb. One moment, Your Honor. M M Mr. Edgeworth, and they said it was going to be the longest case. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Ooh, tsk, tsk, tsk. Hm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Get. What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Mm. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, worthy. Hm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh? To whom? Mike Meekins, Godslayer Extraordinaire. <laughs> as, as its first witness, the prosecution would like to call... Miss Emma Sky, I request the court. Here's her testimony. Hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. No. Shock. <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be. It would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. I go far. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief? That's right, fair. Chief Gant? Worthy. You live to regret this. Mark my words. Miss Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. <laughs> Edgeworth, I care. <laughs> I care. Like I care. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma. Emma Sky. My occupation, I am Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years Being ago. Being her little sister is her occupation? She's like 16. I she mean, doesn't have a job. Yeah, because a uh, big sister is a medal. Best big yeah. sister. Oh, of so course. Yeah. little sister can be an occupation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly, certainly is. <laughs> I will not prove it to you. <laughs> oh, well, okay then. Oh, oh, but if I... He sure gave it back to you. See, if I was asked to do that, I'd be like, okay, Mr. Wright, prove it! <laughs> no. <laughs> Please testify about what happened to you two years ago. trip to yesteryear has finally begun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. The man raised up his knife and and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth. What does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? 
and that will soon become apparent, Your Honor. Oh, he bluffing. He's bluffing. Yeah. Oh, He's yeah. like, fuck if I know. <laughs> You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Fucking take a note over there. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard this before. Yeah, we heard the story. Come on. This is an amateur hour. <laughs> Hold it! That must have been a real shock. Was that a pun, Mr. Wright? Since it was uh, thundering? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, actually. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can still see it just as clearly. Tell us, what were you doing at that moment? I believe you testified that Joe Dark was holding you hostage. When lightning struck and the lights went out, Mr. Marshall jumped on Dark. I was thrown aside and the two began wrestling each other. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was watching them. Emma doesn't have any reason to lie. But Lana sure does. I need to get Emma to tell me as much about this as she possibly can. I was waiting in my sister's office. Hold it! Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. At this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within Lana's office. There was a terrible <laughs> storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just then, lightning flashed again outside. That's These sudden... characters say right too much in this game. I, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know, right? They don't say correct or yes, or yeah. they just say right, 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 right. <laughs> Do they ever make a joke where, where Phoenix Wright answers like yes? Oh, uh, that's an art joke! <laughs> <laughs> that sudden flash let, left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. Not a hold on. No, you, know, you weren't there. I told the detective <laughs> about what I saw then. Whoops. The detective? Yeah, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Okay, hold on. Yeah? So, she talked to Detective Goodman. She was involved. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Yeah. And yet, she didn't fucking mention that at all. Like, when they're like, oh, the, Detective Goodman's dead, she wasn't like, oh, well, fuck, I knew that guy? She trying, I think she's trying to repress, all, like, anything. Oh, uh, you know what, that's yeah. fair. That is very fair. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Oops. So you so you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yeah, that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but... At the time, words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. Picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Uh, I've got the picture. This picture, the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. Objection! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> but the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. I know what I know what to put I know what to present. I know what to present. Witness, would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Y yes, Your Honor. But if she minds then she doesn't want that, right? I drew a scene of that picture, but I've been lost. <laughs> Hold it, you drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? You're right, yeah. I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now. Whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died, yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken. But I did draw it, I swear! I'm not just imagining it. This picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. The scene that imprinted an image in your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man... The man behind the slaughter. Lost to this monster. The man behind the slaughter. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, I do believe. 
check it? Yeah. Check it, check it. Shake a zula. Oh! Yeah, Ooh. there it is. Oh! A picture drawn on the back of the evidence list in, in magic marker. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yeah. Objection! Yeah! Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> the van, the myth, the legend? Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. <laughs> and yet you still insist on denying its existence! Damn. <laughs> huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list from the SL9 incident? Mm-hmm. Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it... Ah! But what's this? Yeah, me too. Yes, what, yeah! <laughs> what is that? Hey, that's it! That's the picture I drew! Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here, five feet apart. Objection! They're not gay. <laughs> they are indeed not gay. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists. They're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. What? What's the name of that keyblade? Uh, to, to become, become one. one. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. It's almost like these two pieces of paper become one. Oh, what's become that key? One. What's that keyblade again? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? What? Order! Order! Who would have thought the picture would have been drawn on the back of that list? That was the end of Detective Goodman in the questioning room. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Oh my god, drink of jungle wine. Or drink the jungle wine. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I said your full name. It totally was a Spice Girl song. If this list was torn in half, then that means. Huh. Your Honor! Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. Your sweat is dripping down your face. Who did he, like, say that really descriptive thing to? He just, like, kept going on and on and on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, your snot is leaking from your nose. Me yeah. Meekins, maybe? Or no, no, maybe Marshall. An earwax is coming out of your ears and your fingernail and your this and your that. <laughs> your drool is dripping from your mouth. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be some... There might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. I'm calling shenanigans. You think Edgeworth would never have looked at the back of his list? <laughs> Yes, that's quite conceivable. Mr. Edgeworth? It's possible. Let's see. You okay, Edgeworth? Do you guys... Okay, this is going to be probably such... Uh, I guess a deep cut for anyone who doesn't know. But like, you know the video game Yik? Y2K. Nope. Lost me. That, yep, immediately. That, that one indie, like, Y2K game that, like, is kind of bad, but, like, people still love it. Um, there's, like, a whole plot point where they have to find, uh, this, like, LP record, and they have, like, the, the jacket for it. And they're going all around. It's literally a giant fucking fetch quest. And once they finally get the record, uh, the guy who sells it to them is like, okay, so here's the record for, uh, uh, Mystical Ultimate LP Legend by, you know, this party member of yours. And your main character is like, Sorry, who? And the guy's like, the, this person. D didn't you know? 
Your name is on the cover. Did you even read it? <laughs> it's insane. It's it's giving this. Yeah, yik. Is something wrong? You even have to ask. Oh fuck! Mm. Sorry, Your Honor. You know things get real when the screen starts to shake. <laughs> yeah. There is something drawn on the back of my list. This is that thing. Oh. <gasps> oh. Give the honest reaction. That's that. That thing. That that thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Ooh. Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Emma. Emma. Very well. Witness. Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, sir, Your Honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she saw the picture. Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. I think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. The defense may not begin its cross-examination. Picture. <laughs> Ago, flash of lightning, thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening. Uh, okay. Hold it. Hm. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course! This is the exact scene! It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives? Objection! Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? N no no of course not! I'd better watch out or he might find some way to cut my salary. Don't think I won't. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Sorry, my mom texted me. Oh, Mr. Good. Wright! Is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Oh, well. Uh, that's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. Yeah, you know what? Uh, can I get a court record? Actually. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's all, I guess. Uh,. <laughs> it's so ominous. <laughs> yeah, like you like look at that picture and like, what do you see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think I drew it two or three days later. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the detective team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge, under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later. The memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? The flash of lightning was so bright all I could see were shadows. Oh. Yo, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Yo. Yo. So the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. No. I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, 
I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. I get a fucking guess. Hold <laughs> it. You fucking guess? You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I'm sorry. Objection! A flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? No, I'm not the bad guy here. Anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. Uh... I feel like this is where we should be presenting something, right? Me too. I, suppose. I just don't know what we're showing. Maybe. But I always remember the sketchy to me. Maybe like the whole picture. Um, let me save just in case. Be shaven. Ah, bitch. Huh. Damn. Objection! Bubba dubba dooba. Bubba dubba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we won't. <laughs> Uh, ba doo ba doo ba doo ba 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 yeah! Objection, there we go. I hate to be be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. What? But I still remember it just like it was yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report. Uh, <laughs> he's holding a ruler. He couldn't have stabbed him with that. <laughs> you the can stab anyone with anything if you try hard enough, theoretically. <laughs> That's true. The contradiction, of course, lies here! Take a look at the knife the man is holding. It's a ruler. <laughs> you look closely, you can see the tip is broken. Well, I was kind of on the right path there. In fact, you don't even have to look closely to see that. It's clearly a ruler. But, Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken, too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Objection! Objection! Huh? Where could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back? If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken! Hey. Speaking of this... Objection! Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Objection! Bullshit! Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible! The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right. But what does Objection. this mean? Objection! The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. Objection! That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered it correctly. I believe you were annoyed at that time. Damn. <laughs> but she but she was sure she remembered it correctly. What? There's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Objection! Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There's another explanation. So many you... objections. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of love it, to be honest. <laughs> Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence. <laughs> You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. 
I like how they like physically recoil when. I it's so good. Love that. Okay, everyone, try recoiling right now. One, two, three. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> if I do too much, I'd get seasick probably though. Oh goodness. Order, order, order. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor. Please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors award at the ceremony, Nero Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gann. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. Ooh. It, may, it is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Ooh. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. Hmm. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances that they're bringing two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. We we have that shit, right? Right, right. Yeah, you clearly said we're broken. Well, okay, that that's a. Rah, that's rah, rah, rah. No, that's not broken. Screwdriver. Ah, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Could there have been a? Could there have been one? Of course. Yeah, I remember what it is. Ha ha ha. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then that you have some information about this other broken knife? If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, I know what it is. Do you want me to tell you? I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, have fun. Fine. Uh, hydrate. Ah! Oh, I think I know what it is. It could be two, oh, yeah. three, four, even five. You could, why is it, why go to six stores when you could go to just <laughs> one or something like that? You could stop at five or six stores or right. just one. I don't need yeah. friends, they disappoint me. <laughs> your, your Honor, if there can be one broken knife, then there can be two, three, four, even five. Oh, that's what, exactly what you're recording, okay. <laughs> I just saw feeding, I'm like, okay. It's probably the screwdriver, right? Right? Ah, screw it. Take that! <laughs> screw it. If anything's broken here, it's you. What? Huh? I'm sure this must all be very amusing to you, Mr. Wright. Wait. But may I remind you that the fate in Miss Lana's sky hangs in the balance? I'm sorry, Your Honor. Please give me another chance. <laughs> Oh, oh my mom is calling me all of a sudden. Hold on, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're good. <laughs> you're, good. you're good. Don't worry, it'll take me forever to find out which of the evidence is it. It can't be Edgeworth's knife, right? No, it has to be like something broken. No fucking way is Edgeworth's knife, right? <laughs> no, it can't be. Fucking shoot. No, no, what am I saying? Fucking. Have you not played this before, Esper? It's been a it's while. Been a while. I think I know what it is, but it's just a guess. Oh, go ahead. What do you want me to say? Uh, yeah, go for it. Let me let me oh. try let me try one thing, and then if I if it's not okay, right. Okay. Oh wait wait wait! I... Oh 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 oh! The fucking oh! Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Did you know that there's a uh, blade missing from it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Fuck Take you. that! Oh, are, you, are you fucking for are real? You fucking? If anything's broken here, it's you. Are you fucking for real? 
motherfucker, come on. You motherfucker. Really? Oh, no, 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 it's no. It's not no. that either? We must, really? just be, we must be too early on it. Yeah, maybe that's like a support, like, oh, it's this, but why is it this? And then bada bing bada boom. I mean, do we have the spear or whatever that was broken from the, the trophy? I, it might be right here. Ooh, okay, how about this? Yeah! Okay, yeah, it's supporting evidence. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside the, this picture. This is a picture of the awards ceremony. Oh. Ooh! Whoa. Why, why is it, Mr. Rogersworth? It's the... The broken murder weapon. Oh, I thought he was having like a heart attack or something. <laughs> Notice the award prosecutor marshal's holding. Gotcha. Sorry, Jackie's going to town on my fucking door. Hold on. Okay. Hey, Jackie. Hi. Baby. Oh shit. Surprise Jackie appearance. Hell yeah. Uh, listen, they're very vocal. <laughs> oh, and we got we got G's burbs. Hell yeah. Yeah. You'll have Jackie and your birds uh, for the play date. I'm sure nothing would go wrong. Nothing at all would ever go wrong with that, I'm sure. <laughs> nothing at all. Come on, Jack. Go in the jack hole. Jackie, the jackhole, it's for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. That's a broken knife. What the yeah. fuck? As we earlier concluded, the knife in this picture was not Joe Dark's knife. Oh shit. That being that being the case, the knife was the witness saw was all in in all likelihood this award. Oh, oh. Order! 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 Oh shit, my bad. Grandma, no, papa, papa. <laughs> no marshal was awarded the king of prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. A uh, pistol? A pistol, oh yeah, yeah. The broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. Ah, objection. But that, that can't be. That can't be. Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean, this man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! Ooh. Oh, Jack. But the Prosecutor was the one who actually died. Did they not both die? Or was or... he? Ooh. No, the Ooh. serial killer, didn't he eventually get the... No, he got tried. Death oh, sentence? That's right. That's true. What's going on here? Seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Hold it! Holding. Hold it! Wait! I, I remember now. I remember everything. No way! It happened. Happened. Witness. Happened. That's my name, Mr. Edgeworth. What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list. The one with that. Picture scribbled on the back? Well, you don't have to be rude about it. <laughs> I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew it. Jackie. Jackie didn't like that. Hold on. I might have to banish her. No. The shot of you go. Alright, she's banished. <laughs> what? You drew that? That's right. Well, you're right, but also that's correct. The list wasn't- Didn't we know that already? Yeah. <laughs> I think we- I think earlier they tried dismissing it as like, the chief drew it. 
Oh, maybe. Yeah, just like scribbles for the blue badger. Yeah. The list... Like a design, yeah. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you recalled, Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. Earth's and night mix up, and now the blue badger? This should be interesting. Oh boy, will it be. It should be. <laughs> and it will be. <laughs> when I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed toward the both of them. I think I... I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then, there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw... The blue badger! He wasn't in He's the room. He's come for your soul. <laughs> he wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. The true self. <laughs> you go to your psychiatrist, and they're like, what do you see in this ink splot? You say the blue badger, and they just arrest you immediately, because <laughs> they know you're insane. Um, oh, Lord. This is certainly most unusual. Objection! Try impossible! The head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Stop! Please! Don't pursue this any further! Lana! What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Ooh. Silence. The defense will now begin its cross-examination. <laughs> Bailiff, please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. Finally. Finally. I guess I'm recollecting now. Saw that man. Panicked. The guy knocked away the man with the knife. Hold it! Are you sure about this? Of course. See? I even drew a picture of him here. But the head detective of criminal affairs thought up this hideous beast. And that was just this year. The blue badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. Now I finally remember. Oh, brother. Just when you thought that this, this, this had just ca caused enough commotion. Fuck. Oh, impression time? JoJo's anime oh. style God Slayer Meekins takes on the blue badger so it can no longer harm anyone. Oh, God. I, I, don't, know, oh, I don't know how we convey Meekins in a JoJo style through just audio. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, He's got like a fucking stand. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know enough. You can do that impression, but I don't know enough about JoJo's to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, huh. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> sorry. Is it, so, a stand... It's the stand no, is like You know the... what, no, we, we... Is it like a part of you? Like, it's like a kind of a personality thing, yeah, right? It, it's like the, the culmination of your fighting spirit made manifest. Okay, so would the Blue Badger be Meekin's stand? I guess it would- well, it would be the chief stand. Fuck the chief. Who cares about him? <laughs> Megan's just steals his stand for himself. Yeah. Is there someone who can do that? No, don't tell me. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me. Yeah. Tell us. Where in the room did you see him dancing? <laughs> you just assume that he's dancing. What the fucker? Sure, I saw his shadow. Hold it! His shadow? It's true self? So you mean you didn't actually see his face with this, with this winning smile and all? Damn, have you played a Persona game? Um, yes, but I don't 
remember much, but yeah, That's I play one. five. So so stand right. so stands are basically just like your your persona. Oh, your persona. Yeah. When are they called stands? Where does that come from? So they they're called stands because they stand by your side. I don't know if that's the actual. Wait, that's so. <laughs> I don't know. I love if... that actually. I don't know if that's the actual reasoning behind like why they're named that like out of universe like the mangaka chose it, but it is in universe what they call it, like that's why. <laughs> I fucking love that. That's great. It's so fun. That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. Objection! This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. Objection! That may well be. <laughs> but what's important is what caused her to think she thought what she did. Oh? And I suppose you have an explanation. If so, then by all means, please tell us what the shadow really was. Show me your true form. What was Emma? Saw? What was it that Emma saw when the lightning flashed? Yeah, stands can't be seen by non-stand users. That's just kind of like the one, like one of the core rules that you know isn't really broken, unless sometimes it is. But depends on uh, stands. Yeah. Who is this blue badger really? just might know. The blue badger hadn't even dr been dreamed up when Emma drew this picture. Yes, she's certain she saw his shadow. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a defensive belief that on the f that fateful day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright! In this room? Very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. Okay, normally normally this is such a stretch for, I guess, like someone to like think of. Oh, I think, but... We oh, I thought you were going to show the blue badger. <laughs> <laughs> Take that! Oh, yeah. The mysterious um, blue badger was, in fact, this! I just want to let everyone know... And I assume a lot of people agree with me that this part coming up is the worst part of the entire trial. Or the entire case. The entire case. Fuck this part. I hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's, uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. Door is a jar. Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Stupid. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. And, However, ah. <laughs> what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I've gotten to show them the correct angle to look at this from. Good luck. I bet this, I This, I'm pretty sure they fixed this in the port. Like, they make it, but I feel like it was easier to do. But, like, when I tell you... Oh my god. The amount of goddamn motherfucking time. I... Exactly. You know what? Goodbye. <laughs> Well, <laughs> they left. Had a base. Okay, bye, Dan Bob. Hi, Dan Bob. <laughs> I ooh ooh. 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 Door, I should have just been practicing off stream. <laughs> yeah, that's how I could fix the base in the first place. Mm -hmm. Well, is it a miracle or what? Wait, they didn't in the in the in the HD trilogy, nor. Damn, I like, I, ooh, <laughs> I hate this piece of shit. No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. No, it can't be. I'm just, I'm just depressed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Aww. Order. Aww. Order. Maybe you have to like go on. I'm for, depressed like, that Esper's. Uh, yeah, I know. I. <laughs> yeah, I'm what, depressed that this is going it? by smoothly. <laughs> you wanted to see Esper suffer? I, I wanted everyone to suffer. It'd be entertaining. <laughs> but no, Esper's a god gamer over there. <laughs> <laughs> the defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Objection! Although also, we... who made this fucking vase? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. 
What's your point, bitch? What do you mean, bitch? So that bitch thing was actually just a joke. That doesn't change anything. <laughs> that bitch thing. <laughs> bitch thing. Objection! <laughs> I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, that changes everything. Indeed. Very well done. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Oh, fuck. Uh, um. Starting to stay like a safe start. Uh, are they in a different location? I think it's a different location, right? I don't remember. I <laughs> well, let's play it. Let's play it safe. And let's not load again. So I have to do that again. No, uh -huh. we're, sa we're saving. We're saving. We're saved. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if you have to do it again, but this time you just, like, can't get it? Oh. I just remember, I feel like it was, like, super finicky when I did it. But also, I guess I didn't know what I was doing, so. Mm -hmm. Allow me to take these in turn. I think I think it's, a uh, yeah, it's kind of convenient, Kianzon, but I think it's still believable because it's the sort of thing where it's, like, oh, it's a very traumatic moment for her. So, like, that image is seared in her mind. Oh, yeah. It's, like technically speaking not like a super complicated silhouette yeah <laughs> oh yeah i, I guess i it, it it is a little contrived but what, what can you do it's the blue badger i'd do anything for him i'd kill <laughs> whoa whoa well uh, you're yeah, uh, <laughs> um, in the game right no i am actively killing right now okay for oh, the blue badger you're, you're multi-talented okay <laughs> at the moment of the murder the witness saw the jar not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Knowing this, where could she have seen the, this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in a picture taken on the day of the crime. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. Objection! But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Objection! Huh. Yes. And it's these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Sky's office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. Objection! Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body from Damon Gant's office to Lana Sky's office? Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm. If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Ooh, I love that trend about thinking. Do you know what the reason was, Mr. Wright? I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. Too late to quit now, though. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have had to been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more, The man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on. Oh! Oh! Yeah, oh! yeah, there it is. What do we have to hit? The suit of armor, holding a very sharp and dangerous-looking sword. Yes. And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil Marshall, wielding the prosecutor's award. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes. You're thinking? At a time like this? No! <laughs> There's another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. Why does Kim and Gan have, like, a giant organ piano? I think he's just extra like that. <laughs> Another possibility? Mm. Of course, a perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless. Oh. I... 
I don't know if I can go through with this. Coward. Mr. Wright? What's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Ooh. Ooh. Woof. Funky. Anyway, so, um, clown meat. Or meat clown. <laughs> God damn it. I keep saying clown meat. <laughs> clown meat! <laughs> no! You mean... Mr. Marshall died because of me. No! Oh, oh. Why do I sound like a motorcycle? <laughs> I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life. Wait, hold on. Hmm? How holding? <laughs> what did she see? Yeah, hold it! What did she? What, what was she seeing when she drew that if she's the one who pushed him? She... Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, so... so... I mean, she, then it... she wouldn't have been seeing it from this angle. Is that something wait. else? Oh, I think I know... Or, I don't know if they will say... Okay, so... If they said yeah, like... that the one holding the blunt, the ruler... <laughs> would be um, Neil Marshall, the hot dead brother. Mm. Maybe she was mistaken and thought that was the serial killer and then pushed him. And okay. then she pushed him into the knife accidentally. So that she did see it, but then she pushed him. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah. that also doesn't make sense. I don't know. Because then why would she push Hmm. Maybe oh. the game will answer it? Yeah. No, oh, silly. <laughs> nah, I can't. Nah, it ends it here. Be. It ends now. It this ends is unprecedented. Here. And then this is unprecedented. Credits start rolling. <laughs> this is, you mean under precedented? Oh. Ooh. What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Guy, but given the circumstances. No dark murdered prosecution. Boo. Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Tell me why? Tell me why. <laughs> Do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? Uh, evidence? We, we need that? Why? <laughs> I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. Eh? Really? I mean, well, because, really? I'm sure Maya can like do like, you know, Make a three-hour train ride. She'd, she'd make it up there. Easy. You're on, yeah, you're on a three-hour recess real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a wild youth chase from the beginning. Disc, disc, disc. Hm. Touche, Miss Sky. Of course. That only leaves us with one possibility. Mm -hmm. You mean there's still another possibility? What do you Nothing's mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean, the possibility that the victim had left us a message. For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. That's... that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. I just, I never really understood that, like, in their dying breath, the victim left the name of the killer, because it's like... 
it's I don't not... know. I always just thought that like there, you'd be in such a state of shock or like you're you're dying, and then it's like, oh, let me like put my energy into like writing this, this person's fucking one. name, and I don't think the name would come out. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, actually, it's funny because uh, turn about sisters, the second episode, actually like he play, kind of like um um fucking like, subverted that trope. Because it was like, oh, look, uh, fucking Mia wrote the name of her killer, and it's Maya, and it really wasn't, you know, so, like... Yeah. It's actually kind yeah, of that's... funny that they're using it here. Right? I just never understood that. I don't know. Question for everyone. If you died, would you write your killer's name in blood? <laughs> no, terrible question. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, th I think I'd just um, die. Yeah, that's too much Yeah, blood. I would, but, uh, but I'm, I would say that because I don't want to give anyone incentive to kill me. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I'm just giving you a warning. If you kill me, I will use my last breath to write your name somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> you don't the know death where. note. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking death. Could you I write will. in the death note with blood? With what? With blood? Yes, you can. Oh, well, hell you yeah. sure can. Um, I'll you can write with anything the... on the death note. I'll just make sure that. Every single moment of my life, I carry around a pen and paper. Yeah! Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, it's... In Death Note, they get very creative with how they hide pieces of the note on their body and what they write with when they're in sticky situations. Yeah. I love Death Note. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I read this? I felt like I read that. Oh. Maybe. maybe. I might have just forgotten. Back. <laughs> it's okay. I've got to think back to the court record. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind. Yeah. We got that. <laughs> this message from the deceased is already in our possession. Ah, Mr. Wright. Will you stop and nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Yeah, let's go, Edgy! Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Yeah, we already know. We already know. Yeah, we, we know. already okay. know. We already know. Take that! This is the message they left. This is the message left by the deceased! This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. <laughs> <laughs> a message was left here, on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice. For some reason, the blood on, on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yeah. Th there is a line here. Drawn in blood! So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Pr Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used a few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that some apparently wiped- one that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Yeah. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. Should we actively do that? And the victim's message will become apparent. No! Perhaps. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Wright! What kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor, I believe these bloodstains will reveal to us the answer. Gotta connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim would have written, given the circumstances. The murderer's name. Good luck. Uh, oh. Yeah, kinda cool. Interesting. I wonder uh, what it's spelling. I don't know. This... I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Dog Vodka. The character Matt? Listen. 
<laughs> in Death Note? Oh my. It's a defense. People were attorney. obsessed with this character. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. People were just obsessed with this character who like never showed up. Like ever. He was like in one second in the anime and like two panels in the manga, and people were fucking obsessed with him. Okay, continue. <laughs> it's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. Oh, saving? Oh, saving? Oh, saving? Oh, saving? Oh, saving hmm. Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. And he got the spelling right? That's impressive. Yeah, right? Well, he may not have had, uh... You know, the the energy to write an extra M. Oh, you're right. <laughs> of Dude, all people. Must have been great in finger, finger painting, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life. Was Emma Sky. Is this a Japanese uh, letter in the original game? Oh. Maybe? I've never know. seen footage, to be honest. See, Worthy? Can't say I didn't warn you. Ooh. Here we go. This little fucker, Chief Gantz. Do you understand the implications of what you've done? No, explain it to me real quick. Okay. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the case, were you not? Oh. Look. Yes, worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Yo, Edgar Flaunt cannot get a fucking break. <laughs> For real. That's kind of the point, to be honest with you. Not only yeah. that. But you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. <laughs> Objection! No kringing, uh, Edgeworth, alright? But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer, that's undeniable! I'm afraid that's not important. Mm. You fucking. Didn't you know? We w we aren't defenders of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery, Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Despite what anyone may say, the fact cannot be denied. What's going, What's going on? on the... Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> they might have sent an innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Order! 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 Ugh. The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Why won't they listen to my gavel? Where this trial's headed, no one knows. Ooh. So it's two more sections, right? Yeah, let me look at the... <laughs> guy just to see so yeah how long did that take like an hour and a half i think more like an hour we got there an hour and okay and it was that big i mean this next section seems on paper it looks short <laughs> <laughs> on paper they both parts uh look short so i don't yeah we can keep going yeah i'm, I'm down if you guys are i'm down go sorry it's worse I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hm. Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Oh, not anything, pals. Gumshoe, I will fire you. 
I'm already fired. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I guess I am. I'll, I'll come back later. <laughs> oh. oh, Detective Gumshoe. What is it? Has he done this like twice? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve, pal. Making a detective run all around while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. I take it Lana's having you run errands again? Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give this to you if there is a break in today's trial. Oh. Evidence law? Edwards was talking about this just the other day. I'm sure you know the two rules, blah 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 I remember just like it was yesterday. Blah 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 she said, kick his ass. She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're going to need this book. It's called mm -hmm. How to Make Friends and Influence People. Oh my god. <laughs> Become best best friends and a big sister to die for. <laughs> I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. All probably three pages of it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. A little too late for oh, make friends now. Yeah, all that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Is you're a messages? I mean, Mr. Edgeworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? You tell me. Your credibility's all been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Sky found out she unwittingly caused a man's death. And now, you're telling me you want to do more? You gotta be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. Th that means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes! That case has hurt too many people. It is time to bring it to an end! Finally. Have they still established how any of this is relevant to the murder that uh, Lana is accused of? Getting there. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's relevance. Kinda. It's about the journey, not the destination. <laughs> oh, it's just because, like, they discussed that when they first brought this up, that, like, oh, it'll become clear in due course, but they still kind of haven't really said how this, like, how this really impacts the accusation against her. I think they're kind of yeah. banking on, like, the judge kind of just following along with the drama of it all. That, and also I think the fact that, like, it was so scandalous, everyone kind of interrupted it, and he was forced to take a recess, like... Like, we were still kind of in it. Normally, like, if it was Phoenix doing it, he'd be like, oh, yeah, for that evidence. But since it was Edward saying it, he's like, oh, yeah, I'll trust you for a little bit, you know? <laughs> also, the judge Loki just likes a good show at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Get the popcorn up there. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Oh, what? Three exclamation marks? Yes, I'll, I will take that and do in, in stride. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> Do Does he Normally, not need a separate trial for that? Yeah, but that's like, he's just being informed that that's going to be happening. Okay. Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. But, uh... Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, er, this isn't easy to say. You, you see, uh, there's some concern that Earth may have, um, struck a bargain. You know. <clears throat> you think? <Yeah. laughs> you think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. 
It's just, uh, look, like, you see, everyone, they've been talking, and... Very... A lot of talk around the, around the locker rooms. <laughs> Very well, your, your honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? But there's never been a case example. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement. But a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Power in my hands? Fuck yeah! Yeah, unbelievable! Let's oh. go! <laughs> I have to let Halo off. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial! Alright! Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Then it's settled. The, uh, de defense may now call for the fourth of its office of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yes, perfect. Perfect going. You yes. ever just trip over your own tongue? <laughs> I'm doing all, it a lot today. All the time. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Hmm? You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. Ooh. The defense calls. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. I'm gonna save this. God Slayer! <laughs> the God Slayer! Megan! Ms. Goodman! The God Slayer! <laughs> oh, misclick. Take that! <laughs> Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. The Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? As the defendant's partners two years ago, Mr. Gant has first hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Didn't hmm. Gant kind of admit to a criminal activity like two minutes ago? Ah. What do you I, say exactly? I don't know. As luck would have it, I mean, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? Room. Alright. Bailiff? Please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. And he basically admitted that he knew about a bunch of falsified evidence of this, didn't he? Uh, yeah, you're actually true. Kind, uh, of, kind of. I mean, like, he basically was, like, wording around it, like, Oh, yeah, do you see what you've done now, Mr. Edgeworth? You yeah. know, this is your fault. <laughs> okay. But... Yeah, I guess. I think it's like putting the blame on like Lana for forging the evidence and then Edgeworth for presenting it. Like he's kind of wiping his <laughs> hands clean of it all. Yeah, his name hasn't really been brought up yet. Yeah. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Oh, your happy name hour. and occupation, sir. Worthy. Are you sure you want to do this? Name. Your name and occupation. So, you want to play hardball, eh? Oh, please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant. The court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, right oh. This was the grim face. First, let's clear up this SO9 incident. Oh, you mean the time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Oh yeah, that time. <laughs> Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. Mm-mm-mm. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh? Like what? Like the role you played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. <clears throat> you are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Is this a threat? Weapons? Sure. Take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? Well, you're a lawyer, you tell me. Afraid so. 
the chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. Of course. It's kind of stupid. It's kind of shit. <laughs> of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Hmm. Is that when Dark was arrested? Hmm. He was lying on the floor, unconscious. It's Owls! Thank you for the seven months to resub. Oh, oh shit, Welcome it's in. all happening. We're Owls. facing off the big orange power man in court. <laughs> How you been today, Owls? Boom. 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 That's such a high place for him to, like, be stabbed at. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah he, like, he kind of did, like... A jump fly. Like, <laughs> yeah, how hard, like, how strong is Emma? Like, holy shit. Yeah, honestly. Well, are we gonna go on another tangent now that we have another dead body on the on the screen? Oh my god. Okay, someone say something how unhinged. The, go. Yeah, how, about, how about the clown meat? How about the kill yes, clown meat? Am I, am I right? Yeah, the, yes. uh, Angel Star just walked back into <laughs> the fucking courtroom. Yo, Damon Gant telling, telling you how to, to swim more? A absolute uh, sleep paralysis demon material right there. <laughs> God. Oh, why does he love swimming so much? <laughs> Wash his sins away or something? I don't know. Uh <laughs> to bathe in his sins. No, I don't. <laughs> I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. The police chief has the right to refuse to testify. <laughs> I think I the think marshal got the point. The point? <laughs> I think Marshall got the point. <laughs> I think Marshall got the point. Okay, sorry. Archibald, no! <laughs> then I better hit him hard and fast. Fuck him up, Phoenix. Work it up to that part. <laughs> him. Kick his ass! My office. Arrange the crime scene. Impression time, get trolling the court by testifying about clown meat and cow udders. Oh god. <laughs> Am I supposed to do that or Yeah, yeah you, you. you're you're Gant. Yeah. If you're, you if can you're... or anyone can. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like my old man always told me. You don't eat clown meat because clowns, they taste funny. <laughs> I don't oh, see how you oh. have to deal with anything. No no, hold on, he's got a point. What? Yes, hold on. Uncook. <laughs> I sometimes believe they got their unique taste because, according to legend, it was a clown who was the first person to ever suck on a on a cow's udders, and that is how we got milk into our fridges. An angel star comes oh up and, sh and she's like, "Ah, oh, yes, the clown udders. I have her tales." Legend of them. says that. The legend says that the white makeup of clowns was originally milk that dripped into their faces, and that has. <laughs> Oh my god. That is how clowns came into this world. <laughs> I I have learned no more fooling around. How, how can you know how that, can you know that? Yeah, how can you know that? <laughs> Were you there? there? Yeah. <laughs> because of the victim's body, it had already been moved. So that means, what does that mean? You found the body near, <laughs> near Lana's desk. Okay, are we reading yes. this again, or are we still talking about talking nonsense? Now we're, we'll, we'll keep going the game. <laughs> okay. I think you said earlier, it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Anyway. Ooh, Edgeworth had like an ellipses. That might be something I gotta present. Okay, ooh. Maybe here though. Hold it! So you're saying the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at your office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter what the circumstances. Is this how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. I'm having a staring contest. He will win. You know this. <laughs> I can try. If you're going to stare at anything, you'd better you'd be better off staring at the court record. Are they worthy. Always the smooth talker. But which piece of evidence ties Gan to the forgery? Lana did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Somehow I've got to link Gan to the incident. Oh. Ho. Okay. Do we know? <laughs> I think I know. I think I know, but I don't know how to get there. Uh, okay. Uh, for some, is that this fucking jar? Because mm. it's like okay. It was found in his safe. Yeah, like okay. When I'm thinking about the jar, and I don't remember much of anything about this case, so like I'm actually like for real speculating here. The jar, if. Neil Marshall like bumped into it, then it must have broke, and then but 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 then like the there 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 was more blood stains on separate parts than just like where the Emma message is. So like it must have been written on there before Wait. it broke. You know what? That's probably gonna be a spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, where's my Emma writing? I did all the effort to write Emma. Stands. The dark red oh, stains so of the Wuduba. It's okay. Only the fragment found in the Chief Gant's office, office is still lines of remaining on it. Fucking very cool. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell me about Lana. Hold it! Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. Oh, look, guys, it's the body. <laughs> <laughs> all right, clammy time. Number party. <laughs> Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor. Yes, apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known that her sister had done. Damn. <gasps> Fuck. Fook. Uh, Fuck a Yamagishi? <laughs> Let me see this again. Hold it. Can you know that? Duba duba duba. Duba duba da. Duba duba duba. Okay, near Lana's desk. Near Lana's desk. Near Lana's desk. Wait a minute. Hold on. He found which body near fucking Lana's desk? The body, the body was moved by Lana's desk. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Do we have like um? That's evidence room. We don't have no. a floor plan. Yeah. Stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, gee, look at us asking for more evidence. <laughs> I get it. We have a fucking screwdriver. <laughs> no, we don't have floor plans. Wait, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. He couldn't have written... He couldn't have written on the, the jar. Because it was falling. Yeah, but also... That's like... what I thought. See, that's what I thought, and I was like, is that oh. a spoiler? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, the jar is next to here, but. Oh, ooh. Ah, ooh. Oh, it's ah, just ooh. like the fucking. It's just like fucking case two! 
Ah, ooh. E, ooh, 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 ah. ah. Not Emma. <laughs> Not Marshall. Uh, Not Marshall. Uh, fuck, okay. Nothing to do with the forgery. Nothing to do with the forgery. Uh, maybe it's the evidence list? Um, we're just gonna save this stage. Yeah! Objection! There we go. Fuck yeah! You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. Mm-mm-mm. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Ooh. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this list, for example. Honestly, Owls, it's like... It, it's like the peak of fashion for Gantt. Why would you change it up now? <laughs> mm-hmm. They have a style. You stick with that style. What do you think the judge wears on his day off? Well, it's this outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the list Emma Sky drew her picture on. The, that was discovered in your desk. Not only that. Wait, hold on, hold on. I think he's gonna pull some evidence law shit on me. Let me... Yeah, read up. Oh yeah, refresh. Oh, it's only one page. It's just a, a memo. <laughs> I literally said it three pages. We can't even get more than one. Ooh, ooh. I'm sure Gant is gonna be like, oh, rule one, bitches. <laughs> I mean, rule two is also relevant because we still have not actually established how any of this is relevant to the murder yeah, that we just Anna supposedly <laughs> committed. But a piece of this jar that was sitting in your office was found inside your safe. It was found where? That is safe. You see, Chief Gant? The articles of evidence uncovered in your office are, are, are both concrete proof that you played a part in the illegal investigation. Ooh. Ooh. Gant, what is the meaning of this? Oh. Here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. Oh, you admit it. You admit to it, then. That you were involved in the forgery. Who? Me? Or do you mean you? Ooh. What? Me? me? Uh, Why would I ever have people? anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. No, no, no. Wait, we had Gumshoe with us. He's police department. Yeah. Well, Gumshoe did tell us earlier, don't trust the police. Ooh. Ooh. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so, too. Isn't that right, Righto? Yes. Objection! However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. How I know this is not. I don't know, but I just know it. <laughs> Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. What? What? Detective Gumshoe Fowler drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. We joked Doesn't about that. Fired? Like, how can you? Yeah, I thought he got fired. Forward? What the hell? Did, did Was he not fired from that, like, oh, you won't be needing your ID card anymore? Like, what? I have no idea. I don't know. Yes, well, in light of the detective's presence... Please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office. And their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Evidence and forgery. Is he calling the judge a kid? Who fucking knows? <laughs> Let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment and a list. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, useless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way.
Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. I I still have, I have my Discord up next to like my, uh, DS legit DS right, and I just have the image of the one character from the wiki doing kind of the opposite expression as Gant. Oh my god! Wait! Oh oh my god! Right. Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. How about I press your testimony? <laughs> My apologies, Chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, well, you know. All right, Urgy. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? Happy hour? Huh? Mind your business. What are these guys telepathic? Happy hour? Alright, let's see. Complain if I'm in my office. Mm. Ooh, but what if it would? Hold it. <laughs> Really, oh, Chief Gant? At the very <laughs> least, there is one very large benefit you've reaped from all of this. Oh? I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? A brand new car! 20% <laughs> off your <laughs> NordVPN. That would, of course, would have to be the position you have, Chief of Police. Oh. Didn't there... he say previously that he's, that he's just the acting Chief of Police? I... What does that mean? Uh, I guess that just means he's the current P chief of police. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I. Well, usually, when you say someone is acting, it means like the. Uh, substituting. Yeah, like yeah. temporary. He can that substitute is... for like two years. He's he's he can. <laughs> okay. The revolution of the F09 incident secured your promotion to chief. That in itself is a is a sufficient motive. Oh! 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 <laughs> I, I kind of read the, those as they came up. Oh, 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 that's a good one. <laughs> huh? Just called me a hoe three times. <laughs> you, three hoes. Do you really think I'm that incompetent? What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes. He was going to be made chief anyway. Yeah! Be careful when pointing that finger, or you might wind up being the one pointed at. So that means there's only one possible motivation for you to commit for forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, I needed it for someone else. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. It's out in the open now. Gee, would you mind if I changed my testimony a little? Call me? You get the bestest best friend. Yeah! You <laughs> present the medals. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, why do you think he's uh, the best big sister? Come on. Oh, you're so. so oh, wait, no, it's Lana who's the. Oh. <laughs> he, who's the best big sister in this situation? They, they, they take turns. <laughs> Oh, no, they, they just trade off the bat. Mom like said it's my turn to be the best big sister. <laughs> Nothing in it for you? 
Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. Objection! That goes that against your makes theory! That's a great police chief! That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. Holy shit. You're right. Well, you're not right, but you are right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, on yourself though. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, that's a good one, Worthy. Please do not call me a hoe in public. <laughs> public. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness, would he would he have helped someone out? Yeah. True, you might not help out anyone for their sake. But what but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Mr. Wright. It appears you're positively determined to portray the chief. Is a nice man who likes to lend people a hand, otherwise known as the best big sister. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Very well, I'll ask. Who is this person you believe Chief Gant may have helped forge evidence? Uh, fucker. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, the, the, the defendant? I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would books. we? Yeah, the books. <laughs> Who would you want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, as he would have no reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? It's self-profit, your honor. Oh. <laughs> Means that he profits and no one else does. <laughs> After the SO9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor of the prosecutor's office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. How would he profit from all of this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Do you mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, <laughs> he plays with puppets? Buffoon, do you still <laughs> Buffoon, do you still think that? Do you still think that's an act <laughs> from this sentence right here? <laughs> that, that's Look not at how that's not an act. You <laughs> are telling me. This motherfucker plays with puppets. <laughs> with Barbie dolls. Can I Barbie say? Dolls. I always <laughs> like playing with them. Sometimes. Oh, oh uh, wait. I. You must mean puppet, as in someone forced to do his bit. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Admit it, Chief. You're, you assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Right, oh my boy, you have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana. She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against Gant. I'm afraid without any proofs, all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless... That is also what happened in this incident. This incident? Uh, which one would that be? There are too many to keep count. <laughs> oh, you mean the one that we actually, like, that this trial is actually supposed to be about? Of course. No trial about? <laughs> <laughs> I am talking about... The murder of Detective Bruce Goodman in my fucking oh, car. Oh, that guy. Forgot about him. The chief prosecutor <laughs> has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Worthy, 
You'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. What the fuck? What do you mean? I feel like I'm what? kind of drifting into Christopher Lee voice when he gets more evil. Yeah, the more <laughs> evil you get, the more like fucking Count Dooku you become. <laughs> what he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gan's involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? I, uh, wha wha what? Order! Order! I- I said order! Mr. Wright, you, you- you can't be serious. Huh? This- This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency! Oh, fuck, I guess it is. Bro, what do you think you're doing, you fucking idiot? To fuck accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder in my courtroom? Are you kidding me? I, uh, yeah, this is no place the, to be I, making accusations. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, make it with someone else who doesn't have plans tonight. You're holding me up. Your Honor, I was merely reiterating. Uh, what well, Mr. Edward said in easier to understand language, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, in language that you would understand, you fucking idiot. It's too late, Mr. Wright. Huh? There's no turning back for us now. It looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with his alright, ride or die time. Ride or die, <laughs> right. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief, a high ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? <sighs> Good question. Didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. And what is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> But enough talk. Oh Have at you. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. All right, then. Show us this evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. Just but remember, it better be good. Fine, Jesus. He really just wants to go home. He wants to have you. He has plans with um yeah. Chief Gant tomorrow or something. He's like, yeah. this is gonna fuck fucking, them up. <laughs> he'll be fucking ruined if he has to go to prison. Right? Yeah, what, where are they supposed to like go out? The detention center? Yeah, well, that's not maybe, romantic. Well, maybe there's really good food at the, at the prison where he'll be sent. Do they have conjugal visits there? <laughs> maybe. There's a really good tennis court or something like at the end of uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. Where is it? Yeah, it's this one, but just in case, just in case. Secret just... lawyer power. <laughs> Take that! Take that! But, oh! You got it. I guess the music's still going on. Yeah. But, whatever. <laughs> it's only when we object, anyways. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Not me! You again! <laughs> I'm reading it in my mind. Oh, <laughs> bother. I'm getting tired. Maybe you this are is the ID there. card list. <laughs> do, do you want us to stop soon? Because we can probably just... No. Okay. No. We, we, let's keep going. It's the rest of this phase and then one final court. Yeah, this Actually. phase is almost done. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's finish this fair. phase at least, but I'm not sure I would like to go beyond that because it's pretty late. Oh, okay. okay. I, guess I mean, can... unless, unless you like really want to, but... I mean, we can always finish it next time and then immediately jump into, like, the first case of the second game and probably get that Oh, well, that might actually that work because short, the first case, yeah, is short. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't think as short as the first case in this game, but, like, relatively short, right? Like, maybe it, it's still, yeah. it's it's considered, um, a, uh, you short. know, a uh, tutorial. Yeah. It's so it's, like, it's just, like, yeah. It's um, like maybe an hour and a half or something. Yeah. Okay, we can finish yeah. this section then. Yeah, the so one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on this list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Seven, 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 seven. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. It's your number. 
<laughs> that's <laughs> that's raw shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> the music stops. It's your number. What? What? How did you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office require the code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was seven, 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 seven. Yeah! Surely that's not admissible evidence, because he went in there, like, illegally, didn't he? No, he, he might pull the... Apples and oranges. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, also, like, it's it's relying only on his word. Like, that's that, true. That's... I feel like the most they could do right now is probably like, oh, hey, Bailiff, go over there real quick. Oh, is that really the safe comm? Oh my gosh, it's a safe comm! Okay. Yeah. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. <clears throat> Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime! Ooh. God, you love when you see um a sprite you haven't seen before of a character. Yeah. Order, order. Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of regulation. Yeah, hey, there you go. Gant, Gant's smart, smart. He's bringing this up. Okay. And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you about the use of this ID card. He can't. So you admit it. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? What about it? I'm chief of police, whether it's in the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Icon, <laughs> tell me, tell me why. When you I can the even go into the women's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? When you enter <laughs> the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. What you don't <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> or I could just see him like just throw evidence into the toilet and be like, oh, "Fuck, I fucked it up again." <laughs> Mixed up, which one goes where? <laughs> Detective Goodman would have happened to be with you that day, would he? Uh, of course not. Why would he be? We're potty buddies, but that doesn't mean we went into the evidence room. <laughs> I haven't seen him in days. Objection! Potty buddies. Oh. You haven't seen him in days. Chief Gant. I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. <laughs> On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. Objection! No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief, if Chief Gant met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Ah, oh, fuck. Was it the, um, lost, lost, I yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, like the they... lost item report, I think. Nope, wait. wait. Yeah, is there somewhere? <laughs> which? Is that you? No. Which page? It should be one of the first ones. That's a, why do we keep going parking stub? Me. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, is it oh. the, uh, no? Oh, it's that. Yeah, there. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or, to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet, you are in possession of the report. Which means you can't be sure if he filed it. Mm-mm-mm. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? I love that Phoenix just... Just like refutes everything with just a very simple. No, yeah, he did it. <laughs> because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. 
Detective Goodman took the for took the took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then you accomplished the you accompany accomplished you accompany the detective to the evidence room. That's right, you accomplished with him. I <laughs> accompanied him. Yep. There's no other way the murder the way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on. Let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered Paul Goodman. Yep. Exactly. But wait! There's more! There's more! <laughs> the chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. He could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Objection! Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the re record, your card was only used once. But you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to check it. It, it, <laughs> it would have been found on his body. Ooh! Oh, I love that one. That is good. Good shit. Chief Gant, you exploded into lightning. You didn't. The murder was most likely committed on the spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. Did my mic pick up that big no did it go silent? It went silent. Oh no! I I bit you put almost so much uh, into that. No. It's okay. After the murder, you c contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why else? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body. Objection! However, the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Get with the times, right? Oh, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey, you! Take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. They would do it if we offered them 50 bucks. That's true. <laughs> Chief Dan, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you move the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time, I thought it was a useless clue that, just that was just uh, taking up space. Which is? You mean half of the clues we have? <laughs> is that the parking? No. What in the goddamn? What are you talking about? Oh, do you want me to tell you? Oh, uh, well, let me see if I can figure it out. Okay. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. I'm so curious. Move the victim's body. Chief Gant use this! Uh... Is that the you used... Oh. My attorney's badge! That's <laughs> right, because the blue badger moved! I think. What? Yeah, because it wasn't found <laughs> in, um... In the uh, evidence room when we went to go investigate it. Yeah! Make that. Well? I see. Maybe I'll use this later to move your dead body, Mr. Wright. Uh. <laughs> huh? You just like say that in a court of law? What? And now I'll help you dispose of it. What? And I'll help you dispose of it. Chief Gant stayed at the PD and Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office. Okay, so Esper dead. Next. <laughs> I leave only one possible way he could have moved the body. The only problem is how did he get him to do it? Maybe that piece of evidence really did have something to do with this okay, case. Okay, fucking. I'll ask you again. Okay, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. alright, 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 alright. I think that was 14. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, assume... he th he said, how did he convince him to do it? Murder. Okay, the murder happened here. Miles Edgeworth goes in shortly afterwards. Ooh. And that, I think I think it might be the screwdriver because he tells him, "Hey, go pick this up." Fuck it. Yeah. This yeah. is how he moved Detective Goodman's body. Right. What's that? A screwdriver? What's that? A hat? Crazy, funky, junky hat. I hardly know her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what does that have to do with this case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is this screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Ugh! I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it at the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back to the prosecutor's office. Who? After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did. Because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yeah, let me save. Let's not load. Uh, bam. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was, body was moved by that car! Car is sentient? <laughs> Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Hedgeworth's sentient car? <laughs> yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Are you think of a non-sentient car? <laughs> <laughs> Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to carry evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice. Miss Lana Skye! Order! 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 What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusations? Think I mean, back to the photo group how he like moved the body from the scene of the crime to the car, right? I mean, I assume it's like okay, he uh gets Edgeworth to get stuff from the fucking evidence room, and while he's doing that, Gant uses that time to kind of sneak the body into his trunk, maybe. Okay, yeah, I guess. Think back to the photograph. Dooba dooba. Abuba. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the, it's the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. You can't. Please, say something. Say it ain't so. I believe... Your time's up. My time is up? A fucking gunner. <laughs> Sorry, Righto, but I'm having lunch with a district attorney general after this. Is that a judge? Going if we're to make it in time for the early bird special. They're going for Hello? happy hour. <gasps> Objection! Aww. But, but the, the cross Romantic. examination isn't finished yet. Fuck your cross examination. Remember what I told you earlier. A police chief. All kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? That is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Objection! So you're going to just run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, Worthy. <laughs> I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. 
Damon Gant is the current chief of police. I, yeah, I don't care. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright? Your, your honor? Do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Sky dispose of his body. Do I have any concrete proof? Ooh, let me save. I don't think we have anything concrete right now, but the, it's the yet that's kind of getting me. I have no proof yet, yeah. Yeah. Uh, worst thing that happens uh, is just like, oh, you're stupid. You go, no, of course you have proof. Come yeah. on. Yeah. And like, like, he'll just be like, no, I can't say that. <laughs> if, if we have anything concrete, then we wouldn't have like a third. I guess, section of court. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, you're showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. <laughs> See, Aji. In that case, this court is forced what? to penalize you for what? your allegations against the chief. Get good. What? Yes, Jed. I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Aji, I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law, law enforcement agency. <laughs> what? Or double Objection. law. Or du it's doubly is important. A, is that a typo or something? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Lady Luck. Hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Maybe get her oh, key. Yeah, Maybe use that yeah, key you know later. address? Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? Do you have a number? <laughs> There is one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth. Another witness. In the absence of conclusive ev evidence, the only other method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked you the right to, to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? It's not me, is it? <laughs> Why are you asking are me, you Your Honor? Are you, are you secretly, secretly a lady? Have you, forgotten? Oh. Have you forgotten? Take off that fake beard right now. <laughs> <laughs> the defense is the one calling witnesses today. Fuck you, Edgeworth. The hell, man. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? Sure, uh, she may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. La 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 la. Take hey, that. The defendant, Miss Lana Sky. She was in the underground parking lot 5:15 p.m. on February 21st. What are you gonna do 5:15 p.m. on February 21st, everyone? You should, you should Start be making plans. We're gonna be doing a 5:16 p.m. on February 21st. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. You're so right. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rookie mistake. Yeah. 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 Her task is to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court ooh, the court will now take its final recess for the day. Woo! Table volleyball! This final this final recess for the day will take one week. <laughs> <laughs> In one week, we will reconvene <laughs> to hear the defense testimony. <laughs> this court is now in re- Hold on. Come on. Huh? Fucker! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Chief Gant, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this. But, if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. He's 
threatening him her in the court of law. You're badgering the Ooh. witness. He's blue badgering her. That's yeah. right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Oh, come on! What? This isn't good. Bro, that's not a good look. Of course, you'd never suspect support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. All right, then. I've got a lunch date to meet. Hey, I wonder if he's actually guilty. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't menacing. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, if there aren't any further objections. We get an objection, and it's Larry Butts. Oh my god, please. Alright, guys! I'll tell you what, I was involved with the SO9 incident the entire time! <laughs> oh, this is my story. This court is now in recess. What a day, huh? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's pause here. Uh, okay. Saving. I'm saving all of this. Oh, boy. How many states are we going to save? Let's find out. It's funny because I'm the judge and I am wearing AirPods right now. Does judge. art imitate life? <laughs> as it does, as it does. Save all the state. What state are we saving today? Okay, I'm thinking Iowa because they don't really have it good and they kind of need to pick me up. Um, Oklahoma was the first one I thought of. I <laughs> I think maybe Michigan. Maybe maybe Michigan. Maybe Again? Vermont. Did we, Again? Didn't we do Michigan last time? Maybe. Okay, let's go Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, we'll save Wisconsin. <laughs> okay. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. Everyone in Wisconsin, prepare yourselves. Oh, no. Yeah, right now. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> is Iowa yeah. Mimmel's face or is that Indiana? No, that might be Iowa. Because it's Minnesota, Iowa... Arkansas, Louisiana. Fuck, what's the other M? Mm, Missouri? Not... Maybe Missouri. That sounds right. That's the only other M1 I can think of that's not, like, coastal. Montana? What are we talking about? States that start with the letter M. What, what's the first M? Is it Minnesota or Montana? Uh, it feels like Minnesota, yeah. right? It might, it might be, it might be, it might be. So, Someone answer before we end stream. I'm holding you oh, yeah, hostage. Yeah, yeah, we're not allowed to leave the VC till we figure it out. <laughs> Minnesota, perfect. Thanks, Buffoon. Um, Maine! Massachusetts! Let me do my plug. Twitter! Ah, the state of Twitter. <laughs> my favorite M state. Uh, I have a Discord. I forgot about Discord. Helen at the moon. Alright, that's it for us today. I... We'll be back on Sunday for some background art. We'll be back. We, the collective us, will be back next Wednesday to finish up this fucking case. Yeah. And <laughs> the day. And start two. So Yay. that that'll be fun. I might I might do some like uh unscheduled like background streams sometime during the week because I have more free time than usual, and I'm like oh. oh. I'm gonna... That might be fun. Oh, on, mm, uh, what time, Esper? What uh, time are those gonna be? What time are those gonna be? You know me, I have degenerate hours, so it's probably gonna be midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. She's gonna click end stream, and then a couple hours later, you guys are gonna get a notification. I'm, I was, I'm literally tempted, though. <laughs> I mean, I'll just set my alarm early again. I don't know. I mean, I could, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I could be just awake by the time you naturally wake up. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's been happening sometimes. I've been waking up early, and then I'm like, maybe I'll just sleep in 30 minutes, but then I, like, check my phone, and I'll <laughs> see, like, maybe people are up, like, on Discord, and I'm like, well, that's just, like, my early morning, my, my news sh radio show to wake me up. <laughs> we are absolute degenerates. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, hi, guys, and everyone's like, ah, oh, damn, Bob's here. That's how we know we're staying up too late. <laughs> Literally, it's a sign. It's so funny, because at first, it was when Arden would be awake that we would be like, oh, no, we're up too late. But now that's just kind of normal. Yeah, now it's Dan Bob waking it, up. Yeah, if but to Dan be fair, yeah. I've been waking up, like, ass early at, like, 4.30 a.m. So, Ooh. like, it's not as bad as it could be. Like, okay. that, that's when I've been coming in. Not, like, you know, at 8 a.m. And you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but if you're awake and Vodka is awake, then we know, oh no. Yeah, and that's like double trouble right there. We're yeah. like, oh no, we're in it. <laughs> oh, we're really in for it now. All right, we're, we're outie. I will see you all next time. You've been stellar, amazing, stupendous, incredible. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah,